Game Night. Night. Tonight on Game Night, Nikki, Lincoln, and me and myself, Toby, are going to play 1830 Railways and Rubber Barons, an economic train game designed by Francis Tresham and published by Lookout Games. Let's get steaming. Choo choo. <laughs> hey, Toby. Yes, Lincoln. Will you teach us 1830 Railways and Robber Barons? Sure thing. <laughs> oh so, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throughout my experience teaching new players how to play 1830, I found that it's better to do a broad overview in the beginning, and then throughout the game we'll kind of do a guided teaching experience. Okay. That way we can kind of uh, go through it as we learn it, because there's a lot to take in. Okay. <laughs> and see some strategies and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And if you are interested in the full, complete rules, Ambie actually has a great video on her channel, Board Game Blitz. Yep. Cool. All right. All right. So, 1830 is a game where you're trying to get the most money our chips, and also stock value. Throughout the game, we'll be investing in different companies and running them to try to make more money. We're going to be alternating between stock rounds and operating rounds. In stock rounds, you buy, invest, or sell different shares of companies. And in operating rounds, you're going to run those companies to make money, develop track, etc. Okay. So let's talk through some of the things that you can do in a stock round. So in a stock round, we're just going to go in clockwise order. And on your turn, you can first sell something, buy a, one share, and then sell shares as well. So, so you'll you, only be buying one share per round? That's right. You can only ever buy one share. And if you sell a share in that round, you cannot buy that same share. For example, if I had some B&O shares, if I sold one, I cannot then again purchase the same one that round. So yeah, because it would give you a little bit of money because the sell price would be higher than the subsequent buy price because it would drop in value? Right. Ah. So... That's a cheap way to get uh, more money, come on. <laughs> so when you purchase shares, the first thing you're going to do is if there are no companies floated, meaning no one has started a company already, you get the option to buy a president's share. So you can see here that these shares have, the first one is a two share with 20% and the next ones are all one shares worth 10%. So all these shares will add up to 100%, but the first person to buy a share will get 20% and control of the company. So when you float a company, meaning it's not started yet, you have to choose one of these prices to float it at. So the options are 67 all the way to 100 and in this green box here. Okay. So if you were to float PRR, for example, and it's a 20% share and you wanted to float at $67, you'd have to pay two times 67. So that would be $134. Okay. Anyone else who wants to buy a share can on their turn, and then they would only pay $67 because it's a one share piece. Okay. Okay. One thing to note is even if you are the president of a corporation, it doesn't mean it's entirely yours because other people can buy shares in it. Right. There's, this is kind of a shared incentive game. So Lincoln could own 50% of my company and then I could own 50% of the company. Although yeah, if you're I'm controlling president, interest because you're the president. Exactly. So I'm running it and Lincoln's kind of trusting me yeah. to make to, money for To do him. a good job for us. That's yeah. right. Can he take it from you by buying more shares than what you have? Yes, that's a good question. So okay. if <laughs> you buy more shares than what I have, strictly more. So if I have 20% and then you buy a 30% share, you immediately transfer ownership. And okay. what that would mean is that I would have to give you my president's share and then you would have to give me two of your 10% shares. Oh, okay. okay. You can also transfer presidency by selling your shares. So if you own 20% of my company hmm. and I own, for example, 50%, I can sell all my shares at once, okay. leaving you the president of the company. Okay. And so she would trade in her two shares for the president's share? Exactly. Back, okay. And this is actually a very critical part of the game because although you want to invest in other people's companies because putting in money into the market is better sometimes than not having money in the market. If you have 20%, then you're in danger of something called a company dump, which meaning if during the operating round, I know that you're a holder of my shares, I can actually embezzle the money from the company <laughs> and then I can get rid of all the shares and then leave you with the consequences. Woof. Wow. So we'll talk about that more in a little bit. <laughs> so as I said, you can sell shares as many as you want, and then you can buy a share, and then again, then you can sell them. So once 60% of a company has, has been bought, for example, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60%, this means that the company has been floated. So even if during the round someone bought it and then sold it, sold shares go into the bank pool, that would still mean 60% of the company has been bought. 
So if you were buying, you would buy from this, not this? So when you're buying shares, you can either buy from the IPO or the bank pool. So the IPO shares are always the price that someone IPO'd the company at. So if I start at 67, no matter what the price is here, if it has never been bought before, it's always at the IPO price. Oh. However, shares in the bank pool are always bought at the current price, and that depends on where the price is at. Okay. So once a company is floated, they will immediately get 10 times the par value in cash. So if I floated at $67 and six shares have been bought, the company's gonna get $670, and it will operate during its turn. So it must have 60% before you can even do any of this stuff in the next phase? Yes, that's right, Lincoln. And that's why it's important to know exactly how much money you need in order to float the company by yourself. Mm -hmm. Because even though this could be a cooperative game, it probably isn't. <laughs> so <laughs> sometimes you need to do the work yourself. So for example, this handy chart here shows me 67 times six is $402. So that's kind of the magic number that we need. And we're gonna start with $600 to begin the game. Hmm. All right, so after everyone has passed, so you can throughout these turns do action and pass, but if everyone passes, then that's going to start the operating rounds. So in the operating rounds, we're going to operate the companies that have been floated. The companies will operate in the order in which they are on this chart. So the precedence is the number, so the higher the value, Mm -hmm. will go first. So if I'm at 180 and you're at 170, 180 will go first. Okay. Mm. However, if there's a tie, the one on the right will always go first. Mm -hmm. And things that are on the same square, it's going to go top to bottom. And the order generally always stays. So they'd be stacked or something like they that? They would be stacked okay. in, in the right order. So in a company's operating round, it's going to do a couple of different things. The first thing that it can do is it can lay some track. Let's say that I fl floated B and then at 67. So we'll put this on here. 67, example, 67. Okay, so let's say I floated B&M at $67, and I have six shares of the B&M. So that means that it's going to get 10 times its share value, so 660, 70, so $670 in this company. So when it's its turn to operate, the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna put its token here, and I'll explain kind of the significance of that, but that's kind of the home base. So the first thing that you generally do is you lay track. So you can see here, these are the different track tiles available. And in the first phase of the game, we're only gonna lay yellow track. And as trains get bought, it's gonna change the phases of the game, changing the rules slightly. So you can always lay one track and only lay one track. So you can see here, there are some rules that I'm following. The first rule is that it must always match the existing kind of terrain. For example, this is a city, it's a big circle, so it must be a city. I wouldn't be able to put something straight here because that would change the style of it, right? If I want to lay here, it'd have to be a double dipped, right? Two, two roads and then two, two, two lines here because this indicates that this is a double dipped area. Okay. So in order to lay a track, it must be connected to your home base. Is that two towns or something when it's the double? Exactly, okay. these are two towns. Okay. So this is a big city, and right. these are towns. Okay. So it must be connected to your existing hometown. So if I lay it like this... You're fine. You're fine, right? Other rules is that it must connect. So if it's like this, well, that doesn't connect the existing track, so it doesn't work. Also, this is connecting directly to a water, which is not legal either. Oh. You also yeah. cannot lay into a gray tile or into the edge of, for example, a red tile like that. Mm. So you can lay one turn at one at a time, and for example, something like this. So this would take two turns to do. So first turn I would do that, and then the second turn I would come here. So the reason why you want to lay track is so that you can make money from them, because that's kind of how you generate income in this game. So after you've laid track, then you could lay an additional token. You can lay one additional token each turn. So if I wanted to, I could put one here. It would cost $40 because the first one is free, the next one is 40. Other companies have more. And this allows you to have different places where you can start your train routes from. So after you've laid your token, if you have a train, you can run it. If you don't, you must purchase one. So trains here are available at two through D. At the beginning of the game, only the twos will be available. Mm -hmm. As they get sold out, then the threes become available. So you can buy as many trains as you want. 
in the first round, there's going to there's gonna be a limit of four trains. So you can only buy up to four of the two trains. So let's say I buy this train. It costs $80, so I'm going to pay $80. And now I can run it next turn. So because I did not run a train, I would have to go down. Devalue the stock? Devalue the stock. One tick to the left. Okay. If I did pay dividends, however, my price would go up. So the next turn, I would operate. And then now that I have the train, now I could run it. So the way operating trains work is that the number on here refers to how many stops you can make. <laughs> and stops are places with values. For example, if I'm here, this is $30. And then this town here is worth $10. You can see there's a 10 oh, right yeah. here. So running a two train would go from 30 to 10. So running one train from here to here would be worth $40. Okay. So there's two things you can do with that money that you've generated. You can either withhold it, so all the money would come into your personal treasury here, or you could pay it out as dividends. So if you choose to pay it out as dividends, each shareholder will receive a percentage of this money. Ah. So for example, if Lincoln had 20% of the company and I had 60% at a $40 uh, revenue, it's so $4 per 10% share. So Lincoln would be two times four was $8. Okay. And I would be six times four, which is $24. <laughs> okay. So. Again, if you pay, it goes up, and if you withhold or can't run, you go down. So other rules are, if you have multiple trains, these two trains cannot use the same track. Oh. So, yeah. So if I had this route here, which generated 40, this one can't do the same. However, starting from another token, it could run from 20 to 10 here, so that would be worth 30. I could also run here 20 for 10. When you're running trains, they must always hit at least one station marker. So that's the importance of the station markers oh. because they kind of allow you to start in various places. Station markers are also important because they block other people from going <laughs> certain locations. So if, for example, can you give me the, the black one? The whole thing? Yeah. Sure. If Lincoln had the NYC company with a four train, normally he would be able to go one, two, three, four. But if there's a token here, this would block Lincoln's access. So he would actually only be able to go one, two, three. So putting st station markers in strategic locations not mm. only increase your range, but also block people from getting more money. Okay. Can you move those at any point? Or are they kind of stuck there the minute when you place them? Yeah. Once you place a token, yeah. it can never move okay. in the game. Wait. Okay. They start with a four train, man. That's You're so cool. lucky. <laughs> Buying trains is kind of what progresses the game. So when the three train is bought, it turns it into the green phase, which means that we can now lay these green tracks. So you can't lay green tracks immediately on its own. They m these are only from upgrades. Okay. So when you upgrade track, you can take this one, for example, and you would have to use one with a dot on it, right? Use one say. right with cities on them, big right. cities. So you wouldn't be able to place something like this because that would change the track totally. So the rules for upgrading are that you must keep any existing track. So this is legal because you can see that there's a straight. So there's a straight here. It just adds things to it. Okay. It adds cities. So it doesn't take anything away. It only adds things. So as long as you're not taking things away, upgrade those upgrades are legal. And when you upgrade things, these cities are now worth more. And you can hmm. see here that there's also a hole. So if Lincoln wanted to run through it, he could. Right, I could, I could upgrade that tile, put your green token that you'd placed pre previously, and then add a token from one of the uh, railroads that I was controlling. That's right. And because there's a space open up, if you had a free token available, you could then put a token there to block other people. Is there from a cost to putting these tiles down? So if there's nothing here, it's free. But Different tiles do have markers on them. So this one costs $80. So the first time you lay it, you would have to pay the cost here, $80. Right. This is a mountain, so it's going to cost $120 because it's more difficult yeah, to build. More difficult to uh, put the train tracks in. So what is the upgrade cost going from the yellow one to the green one there? There is no upgrade cost from going to yellow to green unless there's already a pre-printed tile like here, yellow. This is already starts at yellow. If you wanted to upgrade mm. this one to green, this one is a special tile. It must upgrade to New York then you would pay the $80. Oh, okay. Okay. Other important things that happen when you buy new trains is something called train rusting. 
So the first time that's going to happen is when someone buys the first four train. So when you buy the first four train, everybody with two trains, no one wants these two trains anymore. They're obsolete. <laughs> Everyone wants the shiny four trains. Okay. So these all go away. And what that means is if you only had two trains, the next turn you run, you can't. And when Ooh. you have to buy trains, you must buy a train. Okay. So this is a very critical part of the game because at some point in the game, someone's going to buy the six train. All the threes are going to go away. And then someone might have to buy a diesel. And out of pocket, that's going to cost $1,100. <laughs> so one thing important to mention is that corporation money and your personal money are entirely separate. This is not your money. This is your corporation money. Uh -huh. You might be the president of it, and you might control what it does, but it is not your money. Okay. So Unless if, you're embezzling the money, right? That's right, and I'll get to that <laughs> in a little bit. <laughs> so remember when I said it's possible to get companies dumped on you? Yeah. So during the game, I might shuffle some companies around and make, make the company have no train. But after it's operated, it's okay. Then I could dump the company during the stock round. And then if Nikki's liable for it, then during her turn, she'll have to buy, buy a, train. a train out of pocket, which Oof. could be very devastating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so if Nikki had to buy an expensive train with her corporation, but the corporation only had $100 of the $1,100, okay. the last $1,000 would have to come out of Nikki's personal money. Oh boy. If she doesn't have enough cash, she has to sell as much stock as she legally can to buy the train. <clears throat> okay. I can't refuse to buy the train if I have a way of getting money. That's right. Okay. So another thing that you can do if you have multiple companies is that you can actually exchange, change, and buy them from each other. So companies can buy trains from other companies for a minimum of $1, and there's no maximum. So you can do a lot of complicated things like shuffle around your trains so there's an optimal thing for whatever mysterious plans you have. <laughs> okay. Because we're robber barons. <clears throat> exactly. <laughs> So the game is going to end if either someone goes bankrupt, meaning they cannot pay something, or if the bank pool of $12,000 runs out. Okay. All right. I think that's enough to start the game. Sweet. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll take your word for it. Yeah. <laughs> so as I said, we'll probably play kind of a teaching walkthrough game. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of the times I'll present different options and kind of how I see them and maybe the different consequences of those actions. Because Neat. There's a lot of different things that can go on in this game. Mm, cool, I'm yeah. ready. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like it. Okay. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually have a private auction. And this is the start of the game. Didn't we didn't explain these at all, but I'll explain them now. Okay, well be... that's part of what you're doing there. It's going to be as we go here. So these private companies, they not only give revenue, but they can also be bought in. The last thing that they can do is sometimes they have special powers. So this one doesn't really have any special powers. It simply blocks this space, and that's in the rule books. It's not on the cards. It's also on the space. Of the name. It's on the space as well. Right. Okay. Meaning nothing can build there? Nothing can build here until a company has purchased this. Oh, ah, okay. So it's basically a small railroad that is existing, mm -hmm. and that's where you get the special powers. That exactly. Some, okay, neato. So CSNL can lay a track here, and it's an extra lay. So normally you can only ever lay one tile, but if you buy this one in, that company for one turn can lay one of its normal tiles and here mm. as well. And it doesn't have to be connected. It's kind of a, a special lay. Well, what's an example of that? Uh, meaning that it, does, it can be just a, something that just does something and doesn't actually connect to anything? Exactly. OK, neat. The Delaware and Hudson allows you to place a token here as well as a track, but that counts as your one tile lay. Okay. The token is free, so normally it would cost 40 or or $100, whatever is first, but you do have to pay for the mountain. Okay. So the Mohawk and Hudson, during your stock round or in between other people's operating rounds, you can actually exchange it for one share of the NYC. Although I rarely see that happen. Okay. <laughs> the Camden and Amboy, when you purchase this, you automatically get one 10% share of the PRR. And even if it's not floated, it doesn't matter. And you can treat it as a normal share. The B&O is special because you get the president's share of the B&O. So mm -hmm. usually someone at the end of the game, kind of, at the end of the stock round, kind of gets stuck with this. But it's not too bad. I've seen people win even getting this company. Okay. Okay. All right. The B&O, unlike other companies, cannot be sold into your corporation. 
So, so it will always be its own corporation. That's right. And this one will close immediately when the B&O buys its first train. And yeah. the, the Mohawk and Hudson is going to close when you exchange the share. The other ones don't close due to their powers. Okay. So you build this network up for this one, and then when you buy a train, it closes? That's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the way the auction works is a little bit tricky, but on your turn, you can either buy the cheapest one for face value. For example, I could just buy this for $20, and then it would be Nikki's turn, and she could buy this for $40. Right. Or you can put a bid down on any of the other ones, for example, and it has to be in increments of $5. Okay. So I could say, okay, I want to bid $45 on the CSNL. And I like to put it on the corner here to indicate that this is my bid. Okay. Right. So now it would be Nikki's turn, and then she could either bid $50 here, 50. 75 here, or something else. So it has to be five higher than what that is? That's right, or Neat. five okay. higher than the previous bid. Neat. Okay. Or she could buy this one. When you buy something and there's a next bid of it already there, if I'm the only one, I would immediately get it. Okay. If Ambie had put a $50 bid here, we would have an auction, a normal bid, bidding war for this one. Okay. All right? If you haven't previously placed, then you're not involved in that bidding war. That's correct. Okay. And after all, have, all of these have been bought, then we continue the, to the normal stock round. Okay. All right, so just for our first game, it doesn't really matter too much how we bid. Generally, these go for maybe $10 to $15 more, and the CNA is going to go for maybe around $210. And that's because this one, not only do you get a share of PR, but it can sell for up to $320 into the corporation. So let's just start off some bids. This marker indicates whose turn it is to go first. So, Ambie, why don't you go first? Sure. <laughs> I will actually bid on the Camden and Amboy for okay. $165. Oof. All right. So yeah, this is a pretty popular company if you can get it at a good price. Okay. So I'm going to maybe avoid some conflict here. I'm going to go to 45 on CSNL. All right. And now me. Yeah, so you can either bid on stuff that's not yeah. being bid, or you can try to fight for the CNA, which is not a bad move. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna try my own thing and do the Delaware, so I do it for 75. All right. And I'm trying to remember the numbers here, so 20. Right, the blue chips are 100. Yeah. These okay. red chips are 20s, and these pink chips are fives. 60, 75. All right. 175. Oh, okay. okay. Aggressive bid, but that's, I think that's a good move, Lincoln. Strong. Right. Did I get that right? Yeah, I did. So 175. Um, hmm. So one thing to note is if Ambi were to buy this right away, mm -hmm. then immediately I would get this for 45. Nikki would get this for 75, and then again we would start over because nothing is on, that is one. on this one. Uh, okay. So it's probably not a good idea to, for her to buy this now because then we would get these for too cheap. <laughs> so she wants to, okay. I will bid 50 on this one. 50. All right. So one important number to remember is 402 because that's the amount of money, money you that need I to need. Actually so I need to make sure with my next bid that I don't go over that amount. Oh. So this is $405, so that's enough. So then I can bid this money, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, on the next thing. So I'm going to bid 115 on M&H. Okay, I have my safe pull here. <laughs> don't touch. Is that correct? That, oh yeah, well, oh yeah, 400. And four. Four and then five. a five. Yep. I'm not going to break it. I don't want to start everybody just getting what they want. It's not necessarily <laughs> a bad thing because if you buy this now, yeah. we're going to have to fight over this. And you would get this for a discount, although I would get this for a discount. So mm. you're kind of helping us two by doing this now. Okay. If you don't do it now, perhaps Lincoln might bid up one of these. We're not sure yet. What are you going to do, Lincoln? I don't know. I I'm probably already was uh, out of control here. <laughs> um, how much are we at on this one? Uh, $50. $50. 
Okay. I'm gonna do... There. Well, wait, I you need to change put... for that, right? Right, so you, you have your own bank over there. there. Oh, sorry, okay. Burp. What do I got? I got uh, 40, 55. 55, all right. So Lincoln, are you going to pull the rip cord? <laughs> well, I basically can't do anything else. I might even be too low at this point in time, right? Mm. If I, if I, because I just, I have to bid twenty five for this, and I think that, that puts me. This one, it, because you're the one purchasing it straight up, you only have to bid twenty. Oh. You only have to bid five more. I mean, that puts me basically yeah. at the thing, and I can't bid any higher, so I think I have to do that. If you lose the bid, right. you get the money back. Right. Yeah. I understand, but my point is, is if. What else do I do? I can't, do I pass? You just do it to take the 20 and... So if you do the 20 now, right. it might limit the amount that you can bid up here. So you could pass, uh, and that's probably fine. Or you could bid here, not expecting to win either of them. Right. So it's not guaranteed that you're going to win your bid. Oh, I know. That's I mean, but I'm concerned, right? I mean, Ambie's probably you know worried about her money too. She's now, of course, she doesn't she doesn't know where she's going to win at. And one thing to note: it's nice to start your own company, but it's not a necessity. Right. So you could just be an investor. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Also, another thing to note is if you win that um, that one, you get a share. So you right. only need to float five shares if you are going to be doing and not that four. Company, ah, right. Instead of six. So that would be 42 minus 67. Oh, okay, right, right. So that's 335 here. Okay, 335, if I win that one. That's right. Yes, and one to float it at 67. And this is at uh, 50, 55? Mm -hmm. uh, 60. Okay. Oh my. I'll go 120. All right. Cool. So. I think I'm going to trigger it, the, the end. Mm -hmm. okay. So I buy this for $20. Right. So this is now my private company. So now we're going to do a bid here. So who has the high bid? $60, I do. Yeah. Lincoln. So Ambie is going to go first. She can bid more, 65 or higher. I will pass. Okay. So I'll take my money back. I will also pass. So I'll take my money back. I think that that's hurts. my money. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at you already stealing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's called railroads and robber bears, right? <laughs> So I'm going to take my money back. All right. Uh, wow. I don't know if it's worth it here. Yeah, it's hard to say. It might be It might be good to pass. No, because I'm you not are. anywhere else, though. Well, you're here, right? Right. I mean, th but that's it. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it, it should be okay. Okay, Lincoln. Okay. Let's see what happens. All right. That goes into the yep. bank. <laughs> Because no one except for Nikki bid here, you okay. pay this and you get your Delaware and Hudson. Okay. And now Ambie and I will bid off on Mohawk. So she's bid 120. I will go up to 125. This is the part that I'm bad at. <laughs> uh, I will pass. All right, so I pay 125. All right, and this is now the CNA. And this is going to be a big battle. This usually goes for around $200. Right. So I'm, it's my bid? Yes. Yeah, and it's 180. At 180. Um, I'll go to 200. Oof, I think I'm, it's exactly where I have to stop, so I pass. Because uh, I have oh. 175. All right. Huh. So because I triggered the kind of chain of events, mm -hmm. it's going to be Nikki's turn uh -huh. to either pass or buy the BNO. One thing to note is that if everyone passes to buy this, mm -hmm. everyone is co going to collect income. So someone here is not getting as much money as the rest of us, so usually that person will probably want to buy it. Okay, so... Uh... I think I'm in the You're worst. You're the one yeah. who's going to want to buy it. Yeah. So that means that you probably don't have to buy this if you don't want to. Okay. I'm not going to. So you can, okay. I, I mean, it, I don't know that I'm going to have the money to do what I need to do if I do that one. So right? if I mean, you buy this one, you immediately can choose to float it. 
at any price. Usually people fill it at 90 or hundred dollars. And so that means that you're going to need to spend at least six times 90. So that's 540 right. to purchase this. But this gets a lot of income. So you actually don't need to float it right away. You can just collect the money until you're ready and invest in other people's company until that time is right. Okay. Oh my. 220. All right. So because you bought this company, you actually get this Baltimore and Ohio presidency. And Abby, did you get your PRR share? Oh, no, I did not. All right. Thank you. Okay, so we are done with the initial private auction. Now it's the stock round. So because Lincoln was the last one to purchase a private company, it is going to be Abby's first turn to purchase shares. In the first stock round, you cannot actually sell any shares. You can sell shares any stock round after that. After. So Ambi can only purchase shares right now. Okay. Yes. And I don't have enough to float a company other than the Pennsylvania Railroad, so I will float the Pennsylvania Railroad. Um, and I will float it at 67. So two shares of 67 is $134. 120. So I pay 135 and get one back. Yeah, so the PRR is generally a pretty good company to float, so is the CNO. I like to float the NYNH a lot because it can make a lot of early money. So I think that's probably what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pay my $134. These were examples. Yes. Okay. Wait, so... Oh, the B&M was oh, an example. Here. Let me move these out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We got all eager. It's okay. Put this over there. So yes, I just uh, started the PRR at 67. So I put these tokens mm -hmm. on the stock market. All right. So yeah, the PRR is generally a pretty good corporation to start. It starts pretty early because someone already has one share. So she knows she can float it herself. She could collaborate with Lincoln and say, hey, I want to float higher. Will you help me float? But she chose to do something that she was certain she could do herself. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm going to choose NYNH because it generates a lot of good income. So I'm going to float that at 67 as well. So that's going to be $134. All right, so I get my president's share. I'm going to get my charter. Right, she, Ambie needs hers too. Oh, uh, we don't have um, it yet. Uh, this one, you don't, NNH. Uh, sorry. So see, it floats at 67, so the par price is here. It, sorry, it hasn't floated yet, but I'm, I'm parring it at 67. And because I was the second corporation to come at 67, I go underneath. So that means in the operating round, NYNC or NYNH it's will after. go after. That's correct. Nikki, now you have a couple options. So the different companies that are usually popular to float are going to be the CNO or the NYNC. Okay. But the problem with NYNC is that it really depends on what I do because I'm going to go first mm. and the track that I built could really hurt the NYC. Okay. So you can see here, this is a double, dit, double town area yeah. and these never upgrade throughout the game. So, for example, if I built something like this, that would connect you into here. Uh -huh. But there's really nothing you can do until we upgrade further. If I built something like this, mm -hmm. that really hurts New York Central's you know, chances because you're kind of out of luck of all the money generating area. Okay. So if you wanted to float NYC, you'd probably want to collaborate with me. Or if you don't trust me, you can build CNO. We already tried to take some of my money. No. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you consider this area like the money generating, and then this mm -hmm. is for later in the game when you maybe have more to spread out. You don't want to be by yourself generally at the beginning of the game. Is that sort of a thought? Uh, it's hard to say. If the game goes quick and there's a bankruptcy, it doesn't matter too much. But if the game goes long and we draw out the bank, then you do want to be here to get more money. Okay. But the first company you start might not be the companies that you have at the end of the game. Right. So don't think about it in terms of the long term always, but think about mm -hmm. maybe how I can make money from it right now. Mm -hmm. That's just one way to think of it. Okay. 
Well, I'll take your suggestion and I'll I'll do the Cleveland or the, is Cleveland. The Chesapeake and Ohio. Chesapeake and Ohio. And I float it myself. Sure. So you can buy the president's <laughs> share and okay. you can choose anywhere from sixty seven to a hundred dollars. But remember, if you want to do it yourself, you're going to have yeah. to buy six shares. Right. Okay. So in so general, six, so six shares, is, you're going to have a, need a minimum of $40 $402 to do that mm, one. And that's for my trains. So. No, no, that's no, not no. your trains. That's your stock. Oh, that is yeah. for now. Remember, the, the trains are bought with corporation okay. money, which is separate. These are for shares, and then these will be for trains. Okay. I'm going to try to do it myself. Sure. Yeah, and so in general, in this game, we try to float low because you'll be bankrupt too quickly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and people are, are going to sell your shares and trash them, mm -hmm. so the shares won't be worth very much. So if I yeah. am the third person to go on sixty-seven, is that okay, or should I be trying to do at least seventy-one and be separate from yeah. and not be the well, third? Well, you'd go you'd go sooner if you were at seventy-one, right? Right, but the yeah. thing is, if you float C and O. The turn order really matters for track dominance and building. Mm. And since you're in the middle of nowhere... I don't need to worry about yeah, it. Yeah, you don't have to worry about order as much. Okay. So I'll do the 67 like you guys okay. have been doing. And so, yeah, pay 134. Okay. 120. <laughs> okay. So, yes, we'll put... This one underneath the rest because it floated before right. all of them. And we'll indicate here that all the IPO shares, the shares that have been unpurchased, are $67. Okay. All right, Lincoln. So now you have some decisions to make. Yeah, I, I think I have to join in, obviously. So, because I will not be able to float this one for a while. Yeah, and that's okay because you bought the B&O private and you got the president's share. You can set the par price now. Usually people do it at $90 or $100. That's because you already have the share. So if you set it at $67, they would be losing a lot of money on the value of that share. Right. So is it, does it make sense to go for the, for the gusto at 100? It, it just means other people won't be buying in, right? Maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, it depends. Yeah. And it, if you do it at 100, you have to make sure that in a couple of rounds that you will be able have to Have enough float. money to pay $100 mm -hmm. per yeah. ticket. Yeah, I don't know, uh, per, per uh, stock share. I don't know, I have two, right? Mm -hmm. And I'd need another four at $100, mm -hmm. so I'd have to have $400. Mm -hmm. That's right. And right now, how much money do you have? I have uh, 2, uh, 80, 320. You have 320? Yeah. So you really only need $80 more. Right. And right now, how much money are you generating from your privates? Uh, 30. 30? 30. 40, because we have this as well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm a child, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm pretty good with my privates. Um, uh, oh, that's the... Yeah. yeah. That's okay. okay. So you actually have the two privates. Right. So you right. have 30 plus 10, 40 dollars. Right. So two rounds. Oh, two rounds, yeah. So but after, is it best not to invest at this point in time? Just there, to get this going sooner? So there's no... The only reason to invest in the first round is to kind of get priority. Um, and since it's not a real priority right now for me. But where's my... Where's ball? Oh, it's down there. Okay. Yes, B&O is here. In the first round, no one is going to make any money because right. no one has any trains. Right. So if you didn't do anything for two rounds, you would have enough to buy B&O. But it's probably not the best idea to do that. <laughs> You're going to be making probably more than $40. Uh, if in I invest round in two. something? Yes, that's right. I think you should because right now it seems like, if I'm reading this right, he's almost ahead of us. So if he doesn't buy something that puts him back kind of in line where all we are, sort of, does that, am I making sense? Yeah. <laughs> so I think it does make sense for you to invest, but also let's not forget to set the par price of your B&O. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's you've $100. chosen $100. Yeah. All right. It's going to be tough, though. But as I said, you don't need to invest this round. Right. You can see kind of how we're doing in round two right. and then invest then. So okay. it's, it's not a bad play to not do anything now. Okay. Cool. I, I guess I'll do that then. I'll hold on. Okay. Okay. So I will continue buying PRR at 67. Oh, should have. So 70. Okay. All right. 
I will buy another share of New York New Haven for 67. So I'll get 33 back. Oh, that's right. You can only buy one share per round. That's right. Mm -hmm. Per shot. You can sell as many shares as you want. Right. You can buy one, and then you can, again, sell as many shares as you want. I'm going to buy a share of the Chesapeake. Okay. So 67 also. I need change. Thank you. And one of those. Yep. Lincoln, you pass? Yeah. I guess it's, although Ambie's doing her Pennsylvania Railroad, it looks like some stuff's going to happen there. So usually the best early company, I think, is the New York New Haven. It starts off in New York, which is already worth right. $40. So if you did invest, maybe New York New Haven would be the best one the best at this one. point in time. But no more than that for now, I guess. Okay, I'll try one. Sure. And it is important to note that buying one share is safe, but buying two shares is not. And as I said, because if you buy two shares of a corporation, it leads you susceptible to becoming some... the yeah to the uh, yeah. becoming the president if it gets dumped. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, I will buy another PRR. Oh, I should have one. Oh, next one. I forgot to take a share. Oh. So I will buy my th fourth share of NYNH for 67. Why are you going up to four? I mean, you sounded like I'm going to buy my fourth. Like, well, no, he's talking is... about floating it, right? Okay. So if... Oh, in order to float the New York or any company, you need to have 60% out. Okay. So right now I only have 30%, so I need to buy 30% more. All right, Nikki? Yeah. So I have to keep buying in Chesapeake? Yes. Is that what you're saying? That's, okay. In general, the first round's pretty predictable. Everyone probably buys their own shares. Into their own. Up to 60%. Okay. And I counted that out wrong. I counted my ones as 20s. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need change. Yeah. No. Yeah. So 67 for another Chesapeake. Thank you, Lincoln. Pass. Okay. And I will pay 67 for my last PRR. So now I have 60% of PRR, so that means it floats. And I get this charter of these tokens. Right here, and then it gets six hundred seventy dollars in its treasury. Okay, six, okay. I'm paying another sixty-seven for another share of my NYNH. Did you forget your share last time too? You should have five now. I should have five shares. Oh. Yeah. He said my fourth, but okay. okay. There we go. Yeah, because your fourth was last time. Okay, sorry about that. Floats. Oh, that's right. Because Lincoln bought a share of mine, right. I already have 60%, so it also floats. So I get $670 into the company. Well, I can't float it yet. Right. Nope. So you just keep buying shares keep until buying. it floats. Okay. I gotta break another hundred. Thank you. Pass. Now I only have sixty-five dollars, so I will pass. I will buy one more share of NY NH or NNH as it's called. <laughs> And this puts me at the maximum shares that I can have because you can only have up to 60% of your company. Okay. 67. 67 cool. for another. Right. Right. I've got. And now that you have five. You're six. Six because that's 20%. two. Yep. Okay. So you also float. So go ahead and take your charter. Okay. And go ahead and get $670 on the treasury. Let's move these out of the way.
Okay, so now that Nikki's floated, Lincoln, I assume you pass. Yep. Ambi? I pass. I pass. Pass. All right, because everyone passed, the last person to do an action was Nikki. So Lincoln is priority dealer. Oh, okay. So that means in the next stock round, he will go first. Okay. So if someone had sold out all their shares, meaning 100% of the companies were sold out, the share prices would go up. But because that hasn't happened, nothing changes. Okay. So now that we're in the operating round, the first thing that happens is all the private companies will pay income. So what I like to do is I like to put the money on the privates to just remind myself that those have paid. So for example, I'm going to put five here and then 20 here to indicate that these two companies have, have paid. paid. Okay. So why don't you guys get okay. your income? 15, 25 for me. You get a lot, right? Yeah. Well. Wow. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Right, Lincoln gets the most money, but he doesn't have his own corporation right yet. I'm not corporation okay. yet. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're going to start operating the trains. Now, although BNO is on the board, it has not floated, as we just said. So PRR will be the first to operate. The home token is here. I'll okay. put that there. Um, and then I will lay a straight track here. Uh, I like doing this because I could go here, but this gives me the option to go here as well because I don't need a route right now because I don't have any trains. Um, so I don't have any trains, so I do not run, and the, the market goes left. And then now I need to buy a train, so I will buy one, two train, because... One, two, two um, train? <laughs> one, two, two train. Choo-choo. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but uh, I could buy more if I wanted to, but I will only be able to run one next turn, so I just want one. Right, because her next lay would probably be here, Yes. Or here, right. which means that she can only use one two train. Mm -hmm. Right, one two two as we've established. <laughs> one two two train. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now it's New Haven's turn, and it will first put its token down, then it will lay its track. So this is a important lay, and that's because these two town city mm -hmm. two towners don't ever upgrade. So this is a this is a big decision in the game for me. So I could do that. But if I do this, it kind of limits my trajectory, mm -hmm. and I kind of have to go through. And I can't actually lay a token here, because NYC is here. Right. So I don't know if I want to go there. I think maybe I'm going to try this, the baseball kind of tile. <laughs> <laughs> and that will set me up here. And if I do this, now I can lay this one next turn. And then if I token this, I could actually use two trains. I could go one, two, one, two. So I'm going to lay that, and I don't have any trains now, so my token goes up. So we put it on top, because we're just going to flip all of them over next turn. Why are they not impressed with you as well? Well, I'm doing my best. That's what, <laughs> that's what counts. <laughs> so now I'm going to buy two trains, because as I've planned out, I'm going to run two trains next turn. Okay. So this is going to cost me $160. There are three two <laughs> trains left. Okay. So this is an important decision now for you, Nikki. Yes. But first, let's lay your track, which is not quite as important. Okay. I'm going to do this for my starting, right? Great. And then I was going to try... <sighs> what is the benefit of doing mm. the Toledo... Well, it's the two, state, two stops, right? Across... Well, no, I, I can't. Anyways, the the... These are my choices. Mm -hmm. Right, so in general, I've seen kind of two ways to play this. Either you can try to get here to try to get somewhere into this money area now. Okay. Or you could try to capitalize on this money-making area here. Yeah. Perhaps putting a token somewhere here so that you can hit Chicago a couple different times with All many right. different trains. Okay. So I'm just going to play by myself here. You guys leave me alone. <laughs> okay, that's totally valid. Uh, or I should fight. So if you did that, you might want to play a, to uh, a track yeah. here that it takes you into Toledo. Toledo. Okay. Really want to do that, or should I get into it with everybody? It's up to you. Uh, this I is expensive, though, with the two mountains. Yeah. So normally, yeah, you wouldn't build in the mountains. Yeah. You would avoid them and just go through Pittsburgh. Okay. But then I get stopped. So here, there's a strange track, but you can skip the token. So yeah. this token will not block you. Uh, although you don't get any money from it. But then she could potentially put you there, so... That's right. Mm -hmm. But in the green phase, this will open up, so you'll be able to get in somehow. Maybe. 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 It's hard to see that far ahead. Hmm. 
Let me just I'll place here first this time. Okay, so you probably want the tight. Something like that. Okay. To set you up for Toledo next year. Uh, I was thinking maybe a branch one uh, to get okay. both directions. Is there that choice? So the Is only choices that, choice? that you really have are oh, these for three. for the start. Yeah. Yes. Those are terrible. Well, Columbus can be <laughs> the next round. Right, so if you blade this this turn, in a future turn... Round, but yeah, when the green tiles are released. In a future turn, you could lay something like this to upgrade it, to okay. get to Columbus. All right, got it. Okay, I'll do simple, simple. Okay. Like that. Um, right. that they haven't got their train track engineering together yet. It's just <laughs> the very beginning. That's right. So because you don't have a train, yeah. you cannot run. So you must go back. Okay, we'll move it. But I could buy a train if I wanted to. You must buy a train. I must. And okay. here's an interesting decision you have. Next turn, you're only going to be able to use one train because you only have really Toledo. Uh huh. Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. <laughs> However, there are only three trains left. Yeah. <laughs> and that are cheap. And you can buy up to four because your train limit is four. Mm. What that means is that if you are the first person to buy the three train, you open up the green phase, which allows corporations to buy private companies from their owners. So you could go into next stock round with $140 of cash <laughs> that you've embezzled from your company. Okay. <laughs> It, so the, it's expensive. It's expensive because trains. you're gonna have to yeah. buy three twos to do that. That but will go away as soon yeah. as someone buys yeah, a four, four train. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they'll ru rust out exactly. quickly. I think I'm just I'm gonna start small and get a solid base. All right. So just one eighty dollar train. Is this? I'm this taking, is your money. So I'm taking from this. Pool That's right. To pay for that. Okay. C and O is buying it, not you. You're okay. just telling it what to do. So that was eighty. Eighty dollars. So what do I got here? I got okay. Sixty. Sixty. You'll need some change. Yes, change, sir. You're my banker. No, no problem. Thank you. Although that doesn't match here, you can have one that matches. Okay. <laughs> I'll do the pig pig butt side. Pig butt. Yeah. All right, so everyone has operated, so that was one operating round. We're only going to do one operating round until we hit the green phase. When the green phase hits, we're going to have two operating oh, rounds. Nice. Okay. Right, so we're going to flip all those over. We can move all this money over because we were done paying out. Okay. And now we're in a stock round again. So Lincoln, you have priority deal, so you get first option to buy stocks. Okay, where am I at here? So one thing to think about here is that you want to invest only in companies that, or, that are going to that I'm going to get paid out on. Right, and mm -hmm. you can see from the board here that NY that NNH is going to probably have the best income because it's right. going to have two trains right. running. Everyone else is going to have one train. Right. So you already have one share. So if you buy two shares, that's a little bit dangerous. However. As long as you go before me in the next stock round, I cannot dump it on you. Because if for some reason I happen to loot out all the money, but you have the first option to dump so, shares, right. then you're not in a danger. Something my brain doesn't uh, process well, but uh, <laughs> oh, what the heck, I'll just do one. Okay. So this is gonna be $67. Okay. Even though these shares are 65, mm -hmm. we're buying from the IPO. And those right. are always the par price. Right. Okay. I'm going to buy an NNH as well. Uh, hmm. Because that pays out. I cannot buy the last share, even though I want to, because I'm maxed out at 60%. Okay. So I'm going to invest in someone else's share. And who's going to make money? It looks like CNO is going to make more. more money. So I like more money, so I'm going to invest in that. Okay. I'm a modest, <laughs> solid family company. Six, six, <laughs> five, sixty-seven. <laughs> and one thing to note as well, if you buy the last share of NY, NH, NNH, I keep saying that incorrectly. It's <laughs> because it's New York, New Haven. That's uh, all. Yeah. <laughs> If you buy the last share, it's going to be sold out. So all the, so the share price will rise next round. Okay. 
Well, my intention was to buy it, so it's at 65 right now. It's at 65. 67, yeah. But the par price is 67. Okay. Huh, I need change again. Because nobody sold any, and those, right. those would mm -hmm. be worth the value yep. that would be there if they had. Yeah. Okay, I need to change, sir. Because I'm buying it from personal That's right. Money. Yes. You okay. always buy shares with personal money. <laughs> so Lincoln, I'd like to just show you one option now. But you, you probably shouldn't do this, but it's up to you. If you wanted to sell your shares of NNH... They'd be worth a little bit more. They would be worth $65 now. Right. So when you sell shares, they'll go down in value. Oh, okay. Because when you, it's kind of showing the investors that you're not... Not confident. confident. Yeah. Yep. So if you were to sell them, you would sell both at 65, and because you sold two shares, they would go down to 60. If you just sold one share, it would just go down to 63. Right. So that would be an option for you, but they're going to make money. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to stay because there's no reason to do that yet. Okay. Abby. I pass. I will pass as well. I don't have any money to do anything. Okay. So how much money do you have, Nikki? <laughs> A lot of ones. I was going to yeah. maybe color up. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, sixty. Just, here, give me yeah. Yep. Okay. So now these are my twenties. Right. So you have eighty dollars right now. Yeah. And money in your personal money, but not invested, doesn't make money. Okay. So it might make sense to invest in something. The only options right now are PRR right. and yourself, but you're maxed yeah. out. So the only option okay. is PRR. All right. Mm -hmm. So that is what I will do. Okay. Four sixty-seven. There you go. All right. All right. Great. So I assume Lincoln, you're going to pass. Yeah, I guess so. I'm trying to build up to even get in my uh, mm -hmm. company. And B? I will pass. And I will pass? Passing. All right. So this actually works very well for you, Lincoln, because as I said, you have two shares, which is a dangerous position. Right. And she was the last one to go, so I'm still at the priority exactly. position. Exactly. So you're not in the threat of me dumping the company. I mean, what's going to, what would ha how would I even know that that's something that you want to do? What's, when mm -hmm. does that seem like it's something that you would even consider doing? So if I were to buy all of these in and I had another company, that would be a big threat because then I could shuffle the, the money around and make my other company very good, but this one very bad. Right. So it doesn't look like... There's not a lot of money in the company right now anyway. You want it to earn money to be able to build up its stock. It's, right. share, it's a company coffers to be able to embezzle from. Exactly. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, actually, right now my company has five hundred. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. It's a good amount of money. Yeah. yeah. He will embezzle. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I'm an upstanding CEO. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, the first thing we're going to do, because NH is sold out, is we're going to go up in shares. So all the shareholders are happy, especially me, because I have six shares. Yeah. Now we're going to move on to the operating round. So all the privates pay, so go ahead and collect the money for each of your private companies. So you get $20 and five here. Uh, you get... Uh, 15. 15, so. okay. So now, in operating order, it's changed a little bit because NNH is higher. It's going to go first this time. No. So you get the purple card? Or no. no, it's still because you were the last mm, one to, to, to buy. Okay, right, sorry. So, yeah, the purple <laughs> card indicates order in the stock round. Okay. But the tokens here indicate order in the operating rounds. Okay. So I'm going to lay this track right here. Put this token here. It's going to cost $40. So I need $400. <laughs> Uh, 60 back. And now I can run my two two trains. My two two two, 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 two trains. Two 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 trains. Yeah, right. <laughs> so my first one is going to run here 40 plus 10, 50. And this one is going to run here 20 plus 10, 30. So 50 plus 30 is $80. Nice. So that's going to be eight per share. So I could choose to withhold it into the company, but I like money, so <laughs> I'm sure all, all of you like money. Uh -huh. So everyone, for every one of your shares, you get eight dollars. Okay. So I have six shares, so six times eight is forty-eight dollars for me. And that just goes into our personal money right off. That's the right. Bat. And I like to put it on the share that paid, 
to oh, indicate that that one paid out. Yep. Do you need, oh, you got yours? Yeah, yeah. Yep. I need... Um, you could have had three I'm twos, two just two ones. I got a five. I could have, but I miscalculated. I can't reach the ones. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I only get eight, yep. so... Yep. So... Or eight, yeah. Now that I've run my company and I pay it out, it moves up, and we flip it over so that it indicates that it's run. Now I can choose to buy more trains, but I don't think I will, because I kind of want a three train. So I'm going to hold off on buying more trains. All right, so now it's PRR's turn. So I will, where's, oh, here. We'll lay this here. Now I have a two train. I'm not going to token anything because I don't feel the need to because there's no one else around here right. that I'm worried about. And I can always token next turn if I have more trains that I want to run. So... Because um, it would be uh, uh, at $40 now? Yeah, $40. Right. Um, so I run my two train for $30 and I will pay out $3 per share. So everybody with a green share would <laughs> right. get $3. Um, and because PR paid out, it goes up. Such a low payment. Oh, okay. Yes. And then now, because my company is doing so badly, um, okay, I am going to be aggressive and buy a bunch of trains now because... That seems like a cool thing to do. So I will buy both twos and the three. So that is how much? 160 plus 180 is 340? Yes. So the important thing here is Ambi is the first to buy the three train, which triggers the green phase, meaning next time we're going to have two operating rounds. Okay. We're going to be able to lay these green tracks. Okay. And what wow. Ambi really wants is now she can purchase the private into her corporation. <sighs> ah. I don't have enough money. Oh. That's annoying. Well, I mean, she, I do, but... She, she has enough, just not enough to buy it at the maximum. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Ooh, but then I won't have any money for a token. Eh. Do I need money for a token? Probably not. <laughs> you, you might probably just get a dump the company anyways, right? Well, I can't do that. Well, um, yeah. But you could have less shares in it. I will do this. Okay. So I'll buy it... So I'll buy the CNA for two hundred forty-five dollars. Okay. That's how much it was. Okay. I just left five dollars in here because I don't feel like making change. <laughs> <laughs> so. so you can see that Ambi has now kind of embezzled the money, right? <laughs> you can buy private companies for up to double their worth. So she could have paid up at three twenty, but didn't. She didn't have that much money, so she bought it for about two hundred something. So now she has a lot of money in her personal bank account okay. that she can use to buy shares and start new companies. Neat, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> All right, now it's CNO's turn. Yeah. So this is actually a pretty good spot for you because okay. you can also do the same thing without having to spend all that money yeah. to buy all those twos. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you're gonna do I is lay a track. Lay my track. So we're heading for Toledo. Does that mean I have to pay Yes. 80 You'll pay to lay $80. that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And that comes from your corporation. Here. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do I have again? There you go. 80. Straight in there. All right. So now you could choose to lay the token if you wanted to, and that would be $40 okay. here. But listening to Ambie's logic, it seemed, and I'm out here by myself, it's probably not worth it right now to do it. Right, and so one of the things you would use that token for as well is to run multiple trains. And mm -hmm. so I don't think there's a need for you to do it immediately. You could always right. do it next turn. Right, so I just run, I don't place a token and I run my one train. That's right. Okay, so. Ah. So it's just going to be, you have <laughs> one, two train. <laughs> so you have to start your token okay. or you have to hit your token. Okay. So it's going to be 30 plus 20. Plus 20, all right. So it's going to be five per share. So everyone with a CNO pays out $5. So you're going to get six times five, okay. which is 30. All right. All right. And one important thing now is now that it, we're in phase green, you can buy your privates. Let's move this over to the side. All right. And so this company can now purchase from itself for $140 this company. Okay. So if you want to do that now, you can, 
well, I have enough to do it, so I should, right? Yeah, it's good because then you can use that money elsewhere in the next stock round to buy more stuff. Okay, so let's do the full, what did you say, 140? $140. Okay, I need to uh, change again. Mm -hmm. All right, so this stays here, uh -huh. and this goes there, and then you, you actually get that money, so you get one forty. Oh yeah, okay. that's right, because it's you're taking yep. it into your personal. That's right. Personal. So that, that's your personal that money. That was me embezzling. Right. <laughs> yeah. But I'm a good family company, I swear. Okay. <laughs> so. All right, perfect. So you paid out, so your share price goes up. Okay. All right, so everyone is operated now. So all of these tokens will flip over. So we are now in the next stock round. So Lincoln, you've got first play in, in a critical position here. Yeah. You probably have enough money now. I don't think so. Oh, if I uh, sell? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So the, the you invested in an NNH, and it's made you money. Not right. only did it pay out, but it's now worth $71. Right. So if you dumped all of your shares, you right. can now I, I form actually, your company. I can, I can do that. You're probably right. So let's do that. And Great. that gives me 142. Yes. So you sold two shares? Yeah. So this will go down here like yeah. that. So that was your sell action. And now you can buy one share. Okay. Um, so I will buy one of uh, the b and All right. Mm -hmm. Um, I will also sell a bunch of shares. Mm, a lot of action now. <laughs> yes, I want to float a new company at $100 because I want it to be have a lot of money. So I will also sell my NNH. My company. This one's only 67 now. Mm. And then I will sell four of my PRR shares. Ooh. Those are all at 67. So I get 67 times 5, which... Oh, actually, that 335. is it. 335. Okay. Now I have over six hundred dollars. Um, All right. So now I will float Erie at one hundred dollars. Erie. That's an interesting decision, Andy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, so... Does that go on the thing now? Yeah. Yes, so I chose $100. Oh, let me get that share. So it goes under... Oh, it goes under there, yeah. Yeah, and okay. then there's one that goes here. The size of these doesn't actually matter. You can have as many here as you want. It's just because more tend to float what around there. Sure. two different shades of numbers there. I'm not sure. <laughs> so... One thing is that when you have a company, usually you have to buy a train if there's no um, train in the company. But there's one exception to that rule, and that is if the, tr if the company doesn't have a route. So like these companies all have routes, so they need trains. But if I started Erie and never built any track for it, it would not have any route connected to it. So it does not have to have a train. If I end up doing that, it's basically a company full of money that I can use for other things, like other companies that I have. <laughs> so mm. that's called a suitcase or briefcase. Um, so that is an option. Also, Erie in the green, now that green has, is open, it can build out and there's like good, good options for it, for it there, to build. Yeah. Okay. So those are multiple options I have with opening Erie. So I think I'm going to hold off. Let's see. So B&O is going to float. Erie's mm -hmm. gonna float, mm -hmm. so, you know, so we could actually hit the four trains quite quickly. Mm -hmm. So that means that my company <laughs> might not be looking so hot. So it might be time for me to jump ship as well. Is that because then you'll no longer have the locomotives? That's right. Yeah. If the four train is bought before I run, this one won't have any two trains, which means that during my turn, it's not gonna be able to run. Well, could you buy a three now? It's only 180. Right, but if B and O, Erie, and Chesapeake all go first, they're probably going to buy the four threes remaining. So that means someone will probably also have bought a four, which mm. means I'll have to buy a four, which is fine. But I won't have a, these two to run during my turn, even though NNH is going to be bad. 
even if I sold down all my shares mm -hmm. and CNO, you know, I wouldn't have enough to form a new company. So I'm kind of in a tough spot right now. So I think I can really only just invest. And right now, B&O is not going to run this first round. So I think I'm going to just go with PR because it's cheap. So I'll buy one for $50. And you could take over. I could take it over, but it's not very enticing. Because <laughs> there's only five bucks in the coffers. <laughs> yes. Right, and all those twos are going to go away. So I'm just kind of buying this as a cheap share to buy right now. All right, Nikki. Okay. Well, so the thing is, right now, you have to look at who's ahead of you right now. Yeah. And see it, and b and and Erie have a lot of money. So they're probably going to buy a lot of trains. Are they going to buy all the way up to the fours? I'm not sure yet. Mm -hmm. If you're afraid of that, because you already brought your privates in, you could sell all the way down and start a new company, which might not be a bad idea. Oh, wow. But you haven't even done anything over here yet, I ultimately. I really haven't. But unlike other 18xx games where that really focus on track laying and building good corporations... That is not here. <laughs> this is not this style of game. Okay. This particular game is about financial manipulation uh, and move forming companies so that you can suck out the money for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so evil corporation-y. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I had big plan. I have dreams. I, so I'm an honest family company. This is the wrong world I'm in. <laughs> well, you can make, I guess, two ways to make money in this game. One is to try to make a good company, mm. do do the business, or you can go online and trade on the stock market and see what happens, right? <laughs> online in the 1800s? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's post. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think. can invest in my Erie, which I just told you, <laughs> might be a suitcase company that doesn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> no. Uh, would I want to maybe sell a sh the share that I have in Pennsylvania just to make mm -hmm. it drop? You could do that. That's called trashing shares, but it's already so low <laughs> that it's not really okay. that damaging. All right. Yes. And also, I don't own that much of it, so it's not damaging that yeah. much. Mm, okay. So if you did want to trash companies, though, you could buy and sell shares immediately of Lincoln's new company and Amy's new company. Mm -hmm. And that would hurt their share value, which is a pretty good strategy. <laughs> <laughs> but usually you would want to wait until after we've floated it because mm -hmm. you want to make us spend the $100 before. Because if, right. you, if you do that, then we can buy one for $90. That's right. So. <laughs> okay. I think I'm just gonna upgrade my train. So you you, you want to focus on your company? Yeah. Okay. So then you probably don't want to sell your shares, right? And you would just invest in other companies that mm -hmm. you think will make money. Yeah. Which I'm really worried about all of you right now. Mm. I don't <laughs> think you're gonna do. <laughs> I don't know which ones you're going to hold on to, honestly, um, and try to make money out of. I kind of feel like you're not going to hold on to anything, so investing yeah. is probably a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then there, there's also Lincoln's new company, yeah. um, B&O, B which yeah. because there's going to be two rounds next turn, the first round it won't make anything, but then theoretically the second round it will make money. If he, all of if he lays tracks. tracks yeah. yeah, if he lays tracks. Stuff. But he only has that one engine. company, so yeah. he has more incentive to actually make that company Happen. run Happen. because he only has the one. Whereas for me, it would be dangerous for you to invest in the Erie because right. I have these two companies. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, that it's not... I was it's, thinking. You can so then it would cost one hundred dollars to buy the B and O. To buy a B and O, I think that's what I want to do. Okay. Actually, so there's one hundred for a share of B and O. Okay, I want another share. And I will buy another Erie. So that's six now. This is actually floated, right? Two, three, four. Wait, no, that's five. five. That's five, I think. Oh yeah, I'm Two. sorry. One next round. All right, I think I'm going to, hmm, I'm going to pass. Come on, B&O. 
I'll do. The, I'll, yeah. I'll. I'll come after. <laughs> it's the next burgeoning. Um, Actually, you guys are gonna flood anyways. Yeah, I will pass. So. Okay. If even if I wanted to trigger that to happen, I don't have enough. Yeah, and you don't really to want do to help Lincoln anyways Lincoln too all. much. So. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do another hundred. Okay. So now BNO is flooded. Yep. You get the, the charter and one thousand dollars because it's ten times the par value, which is a hundred dollars. You want just two of them, or you want some smaller things? No, that's and good. And I will I buy know. another Erie. So, now it's my turn. I'm going to use my money to kind of lower your stock values a bit, because I, I think it's a little bit too high up there. So I'm going to spend $100 on Erie, but then immediately... On Erie? I'm going to... Is it floated yet? No. Okay. b and is floated. b &O, I'm sorry. I'm going <laughs> to buy one share of b and for $100, but I'm right. going to immediately sell it and um, get my money back. You're cruel. So the stock price drops by one. Okay. You don't have two hundred dollars, right? That's right. I don't have two hundred dollars. All right, Nikki, it's your turn. I could buy it, can I? You can buy that share now, and that would only cost ninety dollars. Right, and it would bump it. It would no. no, only if you buy from here. Okay. Only if all of the val all the shares are sold, mm -hmm. does the share price go up. Mm -hmm. All right, then that puts me in the danger zone of owning two, which you said was not. So the thing is, though, Lincoln doesn't have two companies, so he can't really destroy it that much right now. Mm -hmm. um, so buying two of B and O is not the worst. It's I not too dangerous. Would need to know when to get rid of it, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. My timing would have to be right. Two, four, six. So yes, you can buy one now, and if it's dangerous, you can always sell it before it's mm -hmm. the next turn. I'm gonna do it. So All there's right. ninety. All right. Oh wait, she got this one. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right, Lincoln. Huh. I don't know that I need any more shares in it. Will it drive the price back up? No, only if I. S only if it's sold out. Yeah. I'm gonna pass. Okay. I will buy another Erie. Is that sold out now? No. Okay, I will pass. Mm. I think I pass. Okay. Um, well, I want to operate. I have enough money to buy trains. You do have $120. Right. So there are some cheap shares now, PRR, NYNH. So and you're not, you sold uh, NYNH, though. Oh, you sold NYNH. Yeah. And because you sold it, you cannot buy it. But you could buy a PRR. Mm -hmm. Right. But that doesn't seem like it's... Well, it's not bad. It's cheap, $50. Mm -hmm. You know it's going to pay. So... Right, because it has trains and everything. There's not too much downside to buying it right now. Okay. What the heck? And you buy it from the bank pool because it's cheaper. It's yep. $50. Okay. Okay. Um, then I will buy the last Erie. So now it is loaded. So Ambi gets the charter and a thousand dollars on Erie. This fits. So now that Erie is floated, I can again buy <laughs> one share for a hundred dollars, and then sell it for a hundred dollars. How? So this it's going to go underneath B and O because it got there second. Mhm. Mm All right, Nikki, okay. it's your turn again. Yeah. I I'm pass. I don't have money. I pass. Okay. Um, With it's that. like you said, it's not mm -hmm. investing. It's not earning anything sitting in, in here. So I'll, I'll do another. Uh, well, Nikki's going to pay too, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? Well, you're going to have to, you're going to run your train. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll do one. Of, uh, how much is it? It's 67, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that a bad thing? I mean, no, that's, that's, return. It would be bad for you to buy two of mine. Oh, that's right, because it could put me in a <laughs> bad situation. That's, <laughs> that's right. right. Yeah. There you go. And I will pass. Okay. I think I've... So I can't buy B&O and Erie because I've sold them. You just them did that. Could you do it mm -hmm. next round, though? I can do it next okay. round. C&O, I don't really want to buy two. So I think I'm just going to hold my position and pass. All right. I'm passing again. I yeah, I'm pass. passing. Right. So I was the last person, yep. or the first person to pass. So I get priority deal. All right. 
So is anything sold out? I don't no. think so. So nothing will go up. So we're in phase green now. Phase, so we're going to have two operating rounds this turn instead of one. Mm. First things first, privates don't pay. Privates will continue to pay until the first five trade is bought. Cool. Once they're bought, they'll shut down. Even if we... Yes. That's right. So this is going to okay. pay into the company now because it owns it. Okay. So go ahead and collect the money. Okay. So B and O will have its first operating round. Right. So buying track or lane track. Yes. Well, you are going to be buying it because these both cost eighty dollars. Yep. Yep. So in general, it's this is going to be the money maker, and right. you want to race here to get your token in there. Right. So you probably want to okay. go in this direction. Okie dokie. Go ahead and give me the easy curve then. With the, is it, can I? Yeah. So it's eighty. Or so you can also come in through here. There's this track here. Um, so you have to look at kind of how this is going to play out. So this track could go like this to get in, in the future, but what is this one going to look like? So this is called a double O. So this one really is, can only go oh. like that. Mm. So you're not going to be able to get in directly like that. So either you're going to have to go in through here, or maybe in the back for this to upgrade in the, in the future rounds, something like that. So you kind of have to look ahead to see... <clears throat> also, I'm going to be laying that double O. Right. So you might not so. get the opportunity to do that. Of course. It's, right, right. The two possibilities, I think, would be to lay straight or to lay a tight curve into here. And then buy a green one that lets me go in that way. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, I guess I'll do the tight one. That's 80. Yeah. Okay. All right, and because you didn't run your train, your share price goes down. Okay. The, no, it goes to the left. left. Yeah. Turn over. And now you have the opportunity to buy trains. Yeah, I think I have to, right? Y you do. Next round, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna, uh, and it will do. Well, whatever. Okay, so that's three twenty. Or no. Uh, Each one is one hundred eighty. You can buy up to four trains now as well. So one thing to note is that the five train is the first what we call permanent train. So the five trains will never rust. Okay. The four train will rust when the D hits. I mean, I don't have that kind of money. That's right. That's, Not yet. Yeah. I mean, I don't even have that, that kind of money to buy four. One eighty. Or do I guess I do I have 500. And, but, I mean, is that... You probably don't want to buy four. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the question is now whether or not you buy one or two. I don't think it's going to need to go, go more than three... I mean, I guess there's potential going two directions or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you were to lay a token here, then you could, you know, run one, two, one, two. But, yeah, maybe maybe one train is probably okay. a safe bet. Cool. All right. Cool. All right, it's Erie's turn. Okay. I've decided not to make it a suitcase company. <laughs> Because that would not be worth it because I have a bunch of shares in it and I would get no money. <laughs> Is that because it's gone down in huh? price? Well, no, because um, I need to have more shares in PRR for it to be worth it right now. and Meaning you'd go back to the other direction with the money if yeah. you were going to suitcase it? Yeah, um, and because Erie has a lot of shares, I won't get any money the next stock round uh, if I don't have Erie pay out anything. Right. So... Um, but I will share money with PRR because PRR needs some money and Erie has plenty. So I will Where's lay Eerie a token. At? Oh, it's over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Where are the other ones at? So there's, oh, we there's find, one here. Oh. We forgot to lay the token for B&O. Oh, oh, yeah. And it goes for the cheapest one. Okay. So Erie is special in that everyone else has the specific city where they start, where Erie gets to pick which Sweet. of these they start at. Um, and, and that's a double O. Oh. Yeah, so that yeah. is a double okay. O. So when I lay a tile, it'll be this, and then I'm wondering if I want to try to get like directly into this one as well, since both double O's 
are going to be forty dollars. Is there another um, type of? Do oh, that's the X one. This one. What's but this one above it there? That's that double O. That's it's just expensive, or is that uh, not a double O? This, this is not a double O. Oh no no, this is this is a regular city. Okay. okay. Um, but then there are only two green double O's, and one of them will be going here. So I probably don't want to do that because then I'll be stuck. So I think I'm going to go. Hmm. And maybe I'll so go it, towards that. So you can rotate it, but you could do something okay. like this. Mm -hmm. But that's um, bad. You don't really have many... Ch you could, I guess you could do that yeah. and hope to go in. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Just so I think I'm going to do... You can't actually lay it in here because that's yeah. hitting right. a gray wall. Yes. Yeah, so... This is a wall. Right. Or also mm. known as a lake. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a wall of water. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I think... Where do I want to go? Yeah, I guess... Hmm. Huh. I haven't done Eerie much. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go this way, probably, and then maybe eventually go back Neat. around to the other. Because Leary, Eerie did not run, it goes mm -hmm. to the left on the stock track. Yes. Now, Ambi must buy a train. Yes. She can buy... Well, it. technically I don't have to oh. because there's no route, but I will. Right. You only need to buy a train if you have a legal route. So I'm actually going to buy two two trains from PRR okay. for five hundred dollars. Oh neat! Because well, I forgot about that's that. how much they're worth, really. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think five hundred should be good for now. Okay. For PRR, um, and then do I want a three train? Three trains are good. Okay, yeah, I'll buy a three train. For 180. <laughs> All right. Okay, great. Now it's CNO's turn. <laughs> okay. I am going to buy green or upgrade. Upgrade. Uh, this one here, so I can get to some cities. Uh, continue this and you hit. You can also Columbus. go into something else too. Another thing you could do is you could if you upgraded. You can go into Chicago. <laughs> this, and then you can hit Chicago, which is worth forty dollars as well. Oh, okay. I was wondering what the pink, uh, pink ah, ones were yeah, at the end terminuses. of the board edge. Yeah, so these are worth thirty dollars until you hit the five trains, and then they're worth the higher amount. Oh, well then let's do that. All right. Wow, seventy for Chicago. Now, Good. do I? Yeah. Do so, I pay eighty again? Nope. You that? only pay it one time. Oh, okay. All right. Great. <clears throat> So now you can run your two train. Right. Would you like to lay a token there? Or, yeah, again, I guess you don't have I to don't yet. I don't think I have to yet. Okay. Um, and I will run my train. I guess so if you laid your token here, yeah. you could then run Chicago to here, which is $70, as opposed to Cleveland to here would only be $60. So what if you had done something like that? Is that, is that bad? I mean, because it would have caught, it would have connected mm -hmm. you over here. Well, I but I'm on this side. I mean, I would have put me here. So um, I'm just, I was just thinking back. Anyway, yeah. I'll let you do what you yeah. oh, do here. Another thing is, the brown upgrades. They these two never connect. Mm -hmm. So if I want to go into here, I need to make sure that this one is not there. Mm. So like, if it was like this and I was here, then I wouldn't be able to go through there. Right. So that's why I'm doing that, I because see. I don't want something there, because I want to be able to go there in right. the future. Hmm. So those are tricky with upgrades. Because they're so tight? Yeah, and then there's only one of each um, oh, oh. brown one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so what it, right, so if I you, place a token and buy another train, then I can run... You can't ever two. run the trains that you just bought. So you're only going to be able to run <clears> one train <throat> right now. Okay. But if you lay the token now, you can get ten extra dollars. Right. I will do that. So I pay forty from mm -hmm. my deal. So yep. there's forty. Mm -hmm. And I lay the token here. Right. So now you're gonna run your two train. I'm gonna run my 
two train, mm -hmm. so I'm getting 30. So okay. you could do that, but you laid the token here so that you could run Chicago. So 30, okay. So 30 to 40. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. So you're going to get $70. All right. So seven per share. All right. So paying it out, three, four, five, six, it would be $42 per share. For $42 for you and okay. $7 for everyone else. All right. All right. So you. the stock price goes up and everyone with a share of CNO would get $7. And that's going here, correct? Nope. Nope. Stocks. Mm -hmm. Right. So shares that are here will mm -hmm. pay out to the company, but other shares will go to here. Okay. All right. It's NNH's turn. NNH is going to upgrade in New York because New York makes a lot of money. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to run there. So my two trains do still exist, so that's great for me. So I'm going to get 60 plus 10, and then 20 plus 10, so that's 70 plus 30, so it's $100. That's so cool. So 10 per share of orange. So I'm going to get $60 for myself. 10 for you, Nikki. Yeah. And yeah, I'm being no. I don't there's know. three shares in the bank, so it gets $30. Neat. Oh. So... My share goes up because I paid. Turn it over so we remember it ran. And now I'm going to buy my privates from myself. Actually, I'm going to do that next turn because there's still one more operating round. Okay. But I will buy a three train. Cool. And that's going to be $180. So I'll spend 320 I have a three here. All right. And I think that is my turn. Finally, PR is going. All right, PRR, oh yes. So I will lay this double O. Um, and I want PRR to eventually get into here. And these are the brown upgrade double O's. Uh, the way that they connect is um, like, they go on top of these and the these two cities will never connect. Right. So if I want to get into New York, I don't want to do that because I'm connected here, and then I would never be able to get into New right. York. So I'm going to do this because I will be here, and then if I get to upgrade this, it will go. I'll be able to make it go into New York. So that's my lay for that green tile. Did that? That doesn't cost money, right? Okay. Um, and then I will token it mm. for forty dollars. There. And now I have two trains. So that makes it a little bit harder for you to get in there, but you can maybe still get in to the other side. Okay, so I have a two trains, a two and a three. I can run, I think, here and here. So I only actually have two, two routes. Um, so that's 60 and 10. I mean, 30. 60 and 30. 60 and 30. So that's 90. And I will pay out nine per share. Nine per share, so we'll I each get nine dollars. <laughs> I have the same total payout as last time <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with, <laughs> with two shares instead of six. And there are two shares in here, so there's also $18 that goes in. All right, so that was the first operating round. So now we're going to do the second operating round. Right. Okay. So everyone gets their private money, so you can move over the money that you collected this turn and recollect the new money. Oh, and Lincoln, since you bought a train, mm -hmm. your B&O is, is gone now. So you don't get any more income from your BNO private. Right. So go ahead and uh, just flip it over or move it somewhere else. Sure. All right, so. All right, Lincoln, it's your turn to run BNO. Right, I still have to lay track. Right. Mm -hmm. I guess I can upgrade so, the one, can I upgrade the one town that's here? Yes. Yeah. So that, there are two options for upgrading. So right? it's okay to have these two. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, the rules for upgrading is this, this straight line has to stay the same. Right. So you can do this. Right, which doesn't um, get me to flip it around. Because, well, so you will have to connect to it. Oh, yeah, though. I can't. So yeah, this, right. this one yeah. would work. Or you can do something like this. Right, um, which might which, be the way to do it, even though it's into the mountains, though. Yeah. Um, Ugh, that's terrible, too. Okay, you can't do that one. Oof. So, yeah, those are the options for that. Um, later, when it gets into brown, the brown city just has spokes everywhere. 
Right. Those are the options if you want to go that way. There's also just going straight into the deep south, but that doesn't get that much money. You could also um, upgrade like this now mm -hmm. so that you could already that true, that hit this one immediately. Mm -hmm. Right. Because of yes. that train. And then if, like, then you will be battling me for upgrading this tile to get into New York. So right. you, that one gives you a chance to get into New York. From um, that direction. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, mm, I, I think, think this one is probably enough. your best move now because you're going to have a three train running 30, 10, 40. Okay. So it's going to be 80 bucks if you, if you lay this on there. Okay. Yeah. Let's just that? do that All one. Right. It's weird. The, the track stuff is hard to see. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It's also you're upside down. So yeah, it yeah. still shouldn't matter really yeah. that much. All right. Um, okay. So you have a three train. Yep. So you're going to run 30, 40, 80. Mm -hmm. So eight mm -hmm. per share. And I have five. So you'll get $40. Oh, sweet. I have two. So you're going to get uh, eight per share. Sorry, so 16. 16. So the share goes up, Amby. Oh, thank you, Lincoln. So now you have the chance to buy another train. And you have a decision here, because if you buy a three and a four train for 480, you're going to rust everyone else's two trains. Ooh. So for example, I was, I've been making a lot of money. Right. Because I have two trains. But you could kill them all. Mm -hmm. Right, but you'd still have the three. Right? Yes. That's right. But I'm but making a lot less. I'll make a lot less <clears throat> money. Usually when you have the opportunity do to do it, you do yeah, it. you do it. I totally mm -hmm. do it. Okay. Because that puts you, everyone else goes more behind, which right. will put you ahead because you don't have any twos. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess I will. So that's... $480. Ooh, bye bye twos. Right. So right. what do I do? So all the twos are going to go away. We'll just put them to the side. Okay. And now, once the four train has been bought, there's a three train limit. So, Lincoln, you cannot buy any more trains. Okay, for this company. Right. So something you might want to think about is how can you buy another company so that you can shift stuff around. Right. All right. It's Erie's turn. Okay. Erie will lay this track here. There's no point in going for one mm -hmm. of the crazy green ones because they don't. There's nothing you need to do. Do you have to start with yellow? Or um, can you start yes, with the green you have one? to start with yellow when you're laying on the blank Initial? board. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I just have this route. Forty and twenty is sixty, and I will pay out. So that's six per share. There's one in here, so six dollars goes into the company. Did and I want to pay to put a token there, or do I want to save the tokens for that company? Oh, that's right, yeah. So you could have... Um, is it important? Is it important if it's if I'm trying to get into New York? Probably could is, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's probably a good token to have. It's in a good central spot, so mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead and pay the 40. And put it in there. Yeah, the timing is going to be key. We can start laying brown tiles in the oh, five yeah. train. So when right. that happens, you want to be in position to upgrade this, as right. opposed to Ambi. Right. I, I don't know if it does. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's tough. Too, right? uh, it, it, no, doesn't cost it doesn't money. cost any money. Okay. It's free. Um, it's just about the turn order. All right. Yeah. The turn, which is tough. That's right. To do. Okay. So, uh, Erie, I ran six per share, so I have thirty-six dollars, and then it goes up. All right. Next is C and O. Okay, well, um, I have no train. I need to buy a train. Right, but first you can lay a track. Okay. So, track, track. What do I want to do? Do I want to get well, into you, Detroit? You, if she loops here, could she have another train run that? They would have yes. to be two separate trains. So one train cannot go to the same hex this twice. Hex, okay. But if she had two, she could do two because mm -hmm. they're different track. Oh, that's right. She only has one. She had no trains right now. I have no <laughs> trains right now. Somebody rusted out my train. I, you guys <laughs> recommended it. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very good move. You needed to do it. To run two trains, I need to change this tile into two tracks? Or no. No. If you just laid, for example, this one, okay. you would be able to run one, two, and then something like one, two, three. If you had two trains. If you had two trains. Okay. You're saying you one... But one, two, three, and then one, two. If you if you're able one, to buy two, two trains. If I'm able to buy two but trains. right now you only have three twenty something. Yeah, I can only buy so one train. So you can only train. buy one train. So you might want to maximize for that four train. Going to something like this. Yeah, exactly. Or that's a twenty. I, 
one, two, three, four. Okay. Right, because mm -hmm. you already have a three here. If you lay this, then you would have something for your four train. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yes. you, you want to lay something here? Yeah. So it has to be a, a two. Right. So these are your options that you can lay. I need to see it. I so. know. It's really weird. Uh -huh. that's, that's, neither of those <clears throat> are good. That would do it. That could do it, and then I could, but this is a mess. I don't want to like, get. <laughs> <laughs> you could try to come into Erie and hang yeah. out with Ambi. Yeah. <laughs> what does this one do? Nope, nope, nope. Unless I want to go other ways. Nope. So far, that one. Okay. That, the one that can do it, that can potentially. It's really it. only that one, I think. This is if I want to do something whack, wacky. So I think it's like this one is really the one. These, what is this driving trains like? I guess it's the it's flat <laughs> there. There's no mountains. They're all <laughs> zigzagging all over the place. It's all the little towns they're getting to, right? I've heard it described as government. Uh, 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 you know, the yeah. government has you, you need to file a permit for this, and oh, you got to write make one track this way, so it's not <laughs> optimal. <laughs> okay, that's thinking in terms of keeping this yellow one. But if I was thinking in terms of upgrading, then I would maybe want to lay something like that, right? If yeah, it'll probably if it was never something gonna... I wanted to do. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stick with that that's one. That's fine. And that's free, right? Yeah, that's free. Mm -hmm. All right. So, here. so you did not run a trade because you don't have any. So your it's share price goes down just one. It's terrible. <laughs> it happens. No, no. Goes, <laughs> sorry, it goes to the left. Flip it over. And now you must buy a train. I must. So. So there's my three hundred. So bucks. she didn't have the money. She would have to sell some stocks to do that? Yes, mm -hmm. but she does have some extra money. Right. But if she didn't have any money at all, then she would have to sell shares. Mm -hmm. All right. So now it is NNH's turn. So I'm, I, so NY is kind of a special tile where you can run it twice. So I really want to get back into it. So I'm going to try to curve my way into it in the future. So I want to lay something like, like that to get into it but you'll probably want to stop me from doing that. So I have one train. It's a three train, so it's 60, 10, 20. So it's going to be 30, 90 dollars. So I'm going to pay out nine. So orange is paying out nine per share. OK. <clears throat> and because it has three shares in there, it's going to get 27 into the company. So my share price goes up, and because it was down here, it tries to go to the right, mm. but it can't, so right. it goes up instead. So yeah. that's what these little Is arrows mean. Is the arrow mean. correct, though? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what the arrows. Are. <laughs> I would think that it would increase mm. in value, so you probably would do something like that, right? Yeah, I'm not sure what the arrows are for, no, no, but no. I guess. <laughs> okay, I'm just that. guessing. Yeah. I'm I thought it was it. the direction you were headed. Like yeah, this, so maybe this is heading downwards unless <laughs> something changes, or yeah. upwards unless. So yes, now it's the last operating round, so I'm going to buy in my, my corporations for myself, my private companies for myself for <laughs> maximum price. So 20 times 2 is 40, and two, 110 times 2 is 220, so 220 plus 40 is 260. So I'm going to take this money, so this is 220 plus 40 is 260. 260. Okay. 260. All right. So this company's not doing so hot, but I'm rich. <laughs> okay. All right, PRR's turn. Okay. Um, I will... Okay, I'm actually just going to lay this here. Ooh. So, with my three train now, I can actually do one, two, and I can skip that in three because I have a token there. So I don't have to use that one. Um, so that's $80. And I'll pay out eight per share. For PR. For PR, yes. Okay. That's sixteen dollars. And okay. Um. Did you move the share up? I have not yet. <clears throat> All right. So everyone has operated twice. So we're gonna flip it over. Everything over, and we're gonna go in the stock round. Let's put these over. 
could get those two again. Thank you. So Nikki didn't get to run when hmm? she bought her train? That's right. Mm, yes, you buy trains at the end of the turn. Yeah. So, so you can't do the run. That's right. All right, so we're in the stock round. Ambi is mm -hmm. first. Okay, so um, I will buy a PRR for 67. So right now, PRR is 67 both in the stock market and in the bank pool, or yep. and like the par price, so I could buy it from either one. And is there a it's the same. Uh, so these ones pay out to the company when they stay in when there. They, they're in here. So that's kind of a good so thing. So I'm going to buy this one because I care about the company. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, because it's the same price. So. Yeah. Whereas if someone wants the company to get less money, they could buy it from here. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to now start a new company. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So I've got quite a bit of money now. Five, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. So I have 600 dollars. So I don't actually need to sell any shares to do this. Wow. So I'm going to start B and M at 100 dollars. So I pay 200 dollars, and I get the president's share of this. So let's put the B and M tokens up at the 100 and the 100. All right, Nikki. Yes. So, right, you could yeah. form CanPac. Yeah. How much money do you have? Personal? Yes. Personal, uh, yeah, yeah, probably not enough. Uh, this was 65 and another 40, so. So if you want to form it, you're going to have to sell shares. And it's a pretty important time to do this now because there aren't many companies left. Yeah. And so it might be a good idea to, to kind of sell some shares so that you can secure a, a new company. Okay. Um, what are you going to do? Me? I think I want to sell... Well, that's only 69. Right? If I do uh, New York... New mm -hmm. Haven. Right, you'll get $69 for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I will get rid of that and get 69 And the share drops because of that. I need to figure this out. Sorry. Okay. There's 100 So you're probably going to need to sell more shares. Okay. Let me see what I... This is silliness. Let me get rid of some of these fives. All right. 75, so not quite a hundred there. Well, not even that, so just take take 15 off of there. Yep. And then here, and then put the paint back. Put the paint back. Okay, still not. I don't want to get rid of the B&O yet, I don't think. Um, I don't know, I mean, it will pay this time. Right. Again. I wouldn't get too attached to companies in this game. Uh -huh. uh, it's all about looking at the future. Okay. So, whatever you need to do. So you should keep the one that you think is going to do better, but then sell the one that isn't. I think both of those are doing okay. That's why I got rid of the mm. NNH first. But the thing is, you don't control B and O. Lincoln does. Right. And he's going to have an opportunity to open up a new company as well. So I want to get rid of. If I get rid of a B and O, that's ninety. For that, mm -hmm. if I sell it, it so if, you, if you get rid of one, you're only gonna get nine dollars for it, but you're gonna need at least four hundred two dollars okay to start a company and ideally more, ideally as much as you can. So it's not a bad Did idea to s so if you sold these for 180 and sold some CNO, you could get enough to get to like six hundred dollars. Okay, if you don't open up a company now, it might be a tough spot for you because you're not gonna get it. You're not going to have any way to get a permanent train. Your only chance of getting permanent trains is by forming a new company to get more money. So it is very important at this stage of the game for you to find mm -hmm. some money somehow. Okay. So I got to sell. Okay. You got So yeah. here we go. Both those for 90 each. Yep. So that's $180. And those two go down one, two, two spaces. One. 
and uh, I'll just okay. So, so one eighty and plus sixty seven. Sixty seven. It's two forty seven. Hmm. Seven. Mm -hmm. So I'm at 400 right now. Okay, so you have enough to form a new company if you don't want to sell any CNO. Or if you want to, you can sell CNO to float at a higher higher rate. Well, that's the thing. I mean, basically, I'm going to have to do that. This yes. is mm -hmm. becoming worth nothing, so I'm going to probably buy this out. Oh, so I forgot, but you probably should have bought that in at the end of your turn. Okay. Uh, and this is a critical time for you to have done it. So let's just say uh, you bought your private in for okay. maximum price. Okay. So that's forty. So go $80. ahead and just give yourself eighty dollars. Okay. From the company. Oh, from the company. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Perfect. So now you have a little extra money. Okay. So. Which company would you like to start? I was going to do Campex? this. Yeah. Okay. So you'll start at at sixty-seven. Okay. Because you only have about four hundred two dollars, right? Sixty-seven. And well, she might have. Do you have enough for seventy-one? So right, you want six shares. Okay. And so if you have four twenty six, you can start at seventy one. Okay. And I think, I think you do. I do. Perfect. Four. Ten. Twenty. So let's do this uh, one at a time. So you're gonna just buy the president share. Right. So it's two times seventy one. So you're gonna pay one forty two. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. But yeah. You can set all that aside. But yeah, go, <laughs> yeah. go ahead and that's just... set aside. <laughs> yeah. And then I will pay my one. Well, if you want, so okay. it's, it, so you can count out the four twenty six now. Okay. So just count out the four hundred twenty six. There it is. Okay. And then <laughs> just remember that you've bought it. So now you have one share. Okay. And then you can take five more in in turn order. Okay. Without having to shell out the money every time. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's, it's a little faster that way. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> All right, Lincoln. Okay. So you're kind of in the same spot. Right. Well, I'm, I guess selling Nikki's is one of them. So that's going to be $67. Right. So go ahead and take that money. Yep. Okay. And then, uh, I mean, she's kind of like keeping the PRR going, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. But even if it's a good investment for you, you're kind of in a situation where, I need where the cash. you need the cash, yeah. Right, and it's, it's 60 now. Yeah, I didn't want to sell PRR, but... Right, you needed the money So you sold that. CNO, so go ahead and put yep. that in the bank. Yep. Um, and then I guess I'll sell that one as well for 60. Okay, this goes down, so you get $60. So to form a company, you need at least four hundred two dollars. Right. And there's one more company to form, which is NYC. Right. It's not great, but it's money. Right. I don't really know how much I should sell of this. I mean, it's gonna, it's already down low. Um, should I just get out, or is that no? I guess because I'm gonna still earn, uh, since it's got trains and it's running. So I don't want to get out. Um, and nobody else is in it, so. And money would pay in here it, as it's doing it. You only have five shares of it. Huh? Right. So, okay. So, if you don't get out now, that's that's okay. But you're going to need to find some way to buy an expensive truck. Buy it, get the big diesel. Which is probably... Or five at least, right? Well, you can't because you're train tight. So, you cannot mm -hmm. buy any more trains until right. the threes disappear. Right. So, your only chance would be to get the last six train after someone buys it. It would be very, very risky to try to hold on to B&O and hope, hope that it will survive. Right. But don't I kind of need it to be there to exchange stuff back and forth? Well, you're mm -hmm. still going to have it. If you right. sell three shares of it, you're still right. a president. Right. You yeah. just don't own as many shares of it. Right. And well, no one else is likely to take it over now because it's risky. Right. Yes. Okay, so three shares at 76 a piece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. It goes underneath. Okay, yep. Yeah. 76, so that's, uh, so yeah, 210. Yeah. Two, plus 18. 228. 228. <laughs> it helps to have calculators in this game. Ah, I, I can do it. <laughs> I, I can calculate. All right. Okay. Awesome. Now you can. So do now it. you've got money. Right. So go ahead and put those there. And yes, there's that's five the shares that's the max and go. Mm -hmm. So now you can start NYC. Right. 
Okay, well then I will buy, I have to buy the initial two shares, right? And you're yeah. saying put aside the money? Sure, yeah, that makes things a lot faster. What do I yeah, have I here? here? I got 480, 5, 490. Do Ooh, I reach anything? You're $2 no, no, short of the 82. Yeah. So you can start at $76. For so you, yeah, set aside 456. Roughly there. Sort of it. Okay, I can I can make it there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can get your share of NYC and let's just do that. Okay, you formed it at seventy one, right? Yeah. yeah. These things here. And then he's seventy six. Six. All right, Abby's turn. Okay. Um, I will buy a PRR. I don't think you technically don't have it fifty yet. now. When it floats. Okay, yeah, yeah. But you'll, you'll have it in the future, so it's okay. Yeah, let's just do that. I so. just said tech. Yeah, tech yeah. No, it's good, though. It's good not to have it there because I don't have anything going on it yet. So b and M, I'm paying 100. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, so you already paid. I'm so go ahead and just take so your share. I'm taking my share. All right, Lincoln, you've already paid. Just go ahead and take your share. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, how many Erie should I sell? Well, yeah, I don't think I want Erie. It's not very good. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just going to sell for Erie because I think, I think the money can be spent in better ways. So 4 times 90 is 360. 360. And I will buy another PRR for 50. So from the bank? Yes, from the bank. All right. I'll buy another B&M, 100. Is that because it's so expensive otherwise? 67 mm -hmm. versus 67? Because you don't, yeah. you, there's plenty of money in the it's bank. Cheaper, you don't need yeah. to have money going in there anymore. Mm -hmm. All right, Nikki? Yep. Here we go. Yep. All right, Lincoln? Yep. Grab your share. Are you floated yet? No? Nope, not yet. Okay. Um, I'll buy one of these for 68 and an H. Okay. I'll buy. Another share of BNM. All right, Nikki. Okay. All right. At five. Mm -hmm. Lincoln. You're not floated yet. Not yet. <laughs> um. Hmm. I will buy a PRR. Yeah, I'll buy one of these. 67. So then I'll keep two in there. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'll buy my final share of B&M for 100 bucks. And now it is floated. So I get my share, my, my company charter, and $1,000. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so then I take my final and I float now? That's right. And you'll get $710. Okay. My last one. Right. And you float as well. So you'll get $760. Um, then I will do, I'll buy a B&M and sell it. I had $100. Ambie's trashing my company. Yes. I'm just repaying the favor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just pass. Okay. I'm out of money. I don't have money. So then you can pass as well, or you could sell shares to do some tannish and damage. Six. Uh, I'm going to just pass. Pass. Okay. Lincoln? I think I'm going to pass too. All right. Ambie? Um, how much is BNO? 67, and so is CNO. Yeah, I will buy a B&O for 67 So now I, I sold my Erie because I don't like it, and I'm just investing in other companies I think are better than Erie at right. this point, So because I want to use up my money. So at this stage in the game, it is very dangerous to have two shares of someone else's company yes. because everyone has two <laughs> companies, so people could shift around stuff and leave you with a shell of a company. Yes. Right. Okay. So this is why I'm just getting one right. of... These uh, yeah. other right. So the game's about to accelerate a lot here. There's a lot of new money. The trains are coming up. Mm -hmm. Trains are going to go away. So it could get chaotic in right. this phase <laughs> of the game. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
All right. I might go bankrupt. I think we all pay pass. Okay, then I will buy a CNO for 67 of the same, right? Yeah. Um, I'll actually do this one. Okay. All right. So, Wait. Abby, are you passing now? Yes, I don't have any money. And everyone passes, so I'll be priority deal. So again, in this round, we're going to have two operating rounds. Is anything sold out this round? No, I don't believe so. Okay, so nothing will move up there. So privates are still going to pay. So privates will pay to the companies that own them. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right, so first to operate is B&M. So it's B&M's first turn. So it lays a token there. And I think it wants to get in here. So it's going to upgrade this track so that it can make some money. It's going to come here. So it has no trains. So it's going to fall to the left. Lincoln, could you move to the 82, the top green one? Uh, to the left, yep, and flip it over. All right, so now it can buy a train. If I buy a four train, and then this three train, and I could probably force purchase something. I'm going to buy this four train for $300. Then I'm going to buy this over from itself because I want this company to pay out of pocket so I can afford trains for both companies. Actually, hmm, should I want to do that? <laughs> So it just needs $450 in this account. So I buy it over. So if I just have 450, how much do I have total? I have 700, 60, 80. That's 100, so I have $800. So that's not quite enough to buy like two permanent trains. So I think I'm gonna go with that plan and force purchase a train for myself. So I'm gonna buy all these companies over and I'm gonna leave. So I see that NYC is going to run. I'm going to buy a train. So I'm, I'm probably going to get a four train. So I'll probably leave like 450 in here. So what I've done here is that I've shuffled the trains around and right. left just enough money for it to buy a five train because I'm hoping that when it comes time for it to run, that it will buy this. Uh, and that way, you know... It can keep running. It can keep running and have a permanent train. And then this one uh, won't quite have enough, but I can shuffle things around later as well to make things work for, hopefully. That's, that's the plan. <laughs> All right, so that is B&M's turn. Now it's NYC's turn. So I'm gonna put the uh, start here. Yes. And um, the first thing you'll do is lay a, lay a tile. Right. So this is your only option. Right. It's kind of a tricky situation, but can't go there. Want to go? Yeah. So this will never upgrade. So you don't want to point into there for sure. Why is that? So the two town, two town kind of tiles. They don't have they any don't exist. They don't exist. Right. Okay. Because they're basically small stops on the way to big cities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No one really wants to upgrade. There's them. no. There's no need to go up any <laughs> yeah. higher than that. So um, one possibility is you could do that. You could also try to hit here and try to upgrade into this. Right. To try to get into New York. Right. Um, yes, which would be this one. Yeah. Okay. But there's only one of those. So. Right. Is he still worrying about placing track here for that plan to work? No. Okay. Yeah, as soon as... That's Toby trying to do that. That's right. Okay. I guess that's probably the best thing to do. I, I don't know. Although I guess that still doesn't get you into New York. Well, he, oh, that's right. So the problem is if you lay... If it's like... What is it? Turn it around. Oh, sorry. If it's like this... Oh, yeah, it doesn't get you it in actually, there. Yeah, you can't actually go backtrack, so this wouldn't actually get you into New York until the brown phase, where you would have something like... This one. That one. That one. Mm. The neighbors. Mm-hmm. I, I see. think we just sit around and play or, with yeah, the, top, the yeah. train tiles. <laughs> yeah. Before you even play the game, like... Okay. Well, I guess that's the only thing I can do. There's nothing... I mean, this will let me go this way, potentially up to this other connection, which mm -hmm. my company can lay a tile, right? Isn't that what that Champlain and St. Lawrence Railroad can do? Uh, um, 
Oh, yeah. So the B and O can do that. Right. Can lay it here. Yes. Well, I mean, it's all we're one oh, company yeah. now. They're well, same president. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Different names. Another thing right. you could do is try to do a suitcase, as I mentioned earlier. Well, the problem is he has six shares of the company. <laughs> oh, that's true. So. Yeah. Same same problem as I had. So. Yes. Right. So, you don't you want you yeah. don't want to do that because it's too much yeah. of investment into mm-hmm. it. Right. So are you going to go with that, or you want? I try? guess so. I don't I don't see any other better choice. That's something Nikki can do. Mm, mm. <laughs> yes, you could do that. Suitcase, mm-hmm. but she also has yes, six shares. Yes, but she has six each. shares in the other one. That's the thing. Mm. Okay, so if we're going with that, share goes back because you didn't run your company. And I flip it over, and now you, you can buy a train, but you don't have to buy a train if you don't want to because you don't have a valid route right now. Right. Um, Things to think about. You can right now. How much money do you have? Seven. Sixty. Seven. Seven sixty. So you can buy the first five train, which is very good. So if you just buy these two companies, you have a permanent train. So you're done with NYC, and you don't have to worry about it anymore. You only have to worry about b and Right. Now, if I were to do that, it kills the threes, but the four is still there. No, the, th- the threes don't die until the six. six is bought. Okay. But it would reduce the train limit to two, so you do have to get rid of one of your trains. Right. Is there a way he could cycle a train out and get money from it? You can't really get rid of trains, but okay. if the first person to buy a diesel, if you trade in a four, five, or six, you get a $300 discount. When mm. do the red tile, okay. the brown tiles come available? As soon as someone okay. buys the first five, that triggers the brown phase, and then these will be available, as well as these will pay out the higher numbers. So if I were to do that, does that mean that my... B and O would go before. Yes. To get the green t- uh, to to change. Uh, yes. Yes. One that uh, was, yes. Ah, that yeah, happens. that's good. You're learning. Okay. <laughs> let's Turn go ahead. Order. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. Then. So that's seven hundred fifty dollars. Okay. And now we are in the brown phase of the game. Because where Lincoln bought the first five train, mm-hmm. the train limit is now two. So now that I do what I do, what I just. Uh, you put it into the bank pool. Okay. Oh. So if someone has to force purchase that, which I was planning to do, I would have to buy that instead of the five, which would be disastrous for me. Oh. Well, you can you can afford the five, so you can still get. Oh, that's right. I planned for that, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Unless there are no fives left, right. then I'm in trouble. Yes. So now it's Can Pack's turn, Nikki. Uh, hello, new company. So, so I place my little thing uh-huh. first. And so you can lay a couple different tracks. You can lay this one, a dit here, maybe going here or possibly like that, or you could try to go this direction. So you could do something like that if you wanted to. And as Ambi was saying, you could, if you wanted to, make this a suitcase, but one problem is that you're so invested in it right now. Okay. So. Yeah, I'm going to do this loop. That loop? Yeah. All right. Take you into Ottawa. Yeah. Yeah, seems like a good idea. Nikki doesn't like to hang out with us. She no. wants to just be on her. I know, she's kind of playing like... my own game. <laughs> Probably smart. I don't know. All right, so Cam Pack is going to go back because it didn't pay. And now you can buy trains. So okay. this is great for you. You can buy train. a train. So four, it's 4 50 for a train. So yes. there's my five. five. So right. I get a 50 back. Yeah. So the five, the permanent trains are really the kind of the goals of the game because they make sure that you're safe. Safe okay. from having to buy the diesel. So one other important decision you can make right now okay. is right now your CPR is in good position. You feel great about it. But, <laughs> but what about your CNO? It's, it's not looking yeah. so hot. Okay. Yeah. But you can kind of shuffle things around just like I did okay. to give you a better shot. But if I take the train, mm-hmm. it's not going to run. That's right. And that still is decent money, right? Yes. If it runs. But it's better to take a one round hit to begin a permanent train as opposed to having this pay out a couple of rounds and then someone's going to rust your four and then you're going to have to buy a diesel out of pocket. Mm-hmm. So okay. you can risk it and try that. Or you can... Um, Buy this over Buy and have it. this force purchase a, a perm, a, another train. 
Okay. But, Except I'm not going to end up with an... Well, okay, I see what you're doing. It's tricky, though, because if the timing is wrong, yeah. then you might end up buying that dreaded three train. Oh, sweet. <laughs> so I'm not sure what's going to happen. Because Erie's going to go up next, and it's probably not going to buy itself, but it might buy something from PRR, right? So it's hard to say exactly what's going to happen, but that's right. kind of how I see things right so now. So I'm just speculating what's going to happen here. Um, so what I want to do is like what you did, where I leave myself with enough money to buy the 630 So train. if you had $450, that would have worked. But I don't. So it's probably a bad time to even try to do that. Yeah, right because now. you're going to end up with a three. So uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm going to be done. Okay. Now it's Erie's turn. No, it's your turn actually. You're a sixty-eight. Oh, it's sixty-eight. Oh, so I'm in trouble now. No, oh. you you have four fifty to get ah, to five. We no. talked about this already. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you were here, you would be in trouble. Right. Because the uh, one of these would bought the five. I right, think. but luckily I'm over here. So four fifty, I pay it. Well, first you can lay track. Oh yes, I got too excited. So <laughs> I'm gonna lay this. So that I can get into New York. Oh. Yeah. And then I didn't run because I have no train. So then I go back. And this is why flipping it over makes sense because now when we come here, we won't forget that we already ran New York. Okay. I paid my money and I get a five train. All right. Now it is Erie's turn. Whew. A lot's going around this round. This is like I kind wonder, of the, yeah. No, I might not go bankrupt. If I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. I might go bankrupt. <laughs> Do games usually end with bankrupt? In four players, it often does. Okay. Before the cash goes. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's because yes. you know there's just all the companies are in play, and okay. it's just the right mix for it to happen. Okay, we actually have browns available now, right? So, um, I'll upgrade this one. Uh, what do I want? I want it to go... Do I want it to go in there? Actually, maybe not. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not gonna have any money to do that anyway. I guess I can do that. Are there any... So you're going to want, you're, okay, you're going to be able to get in there anyway, huh? Okay, so I'll just do this, I think. And then that's $70 now. So I have a lot in here, so I'm just going to pay out. Because I'm also going to have to, I don't know. Okay. okay. So there's five in here? Yep. So it's so seven per share? Yeah, 35. So all yellow, so only AMB has. Yeah, yeah, and I have $14. So a lot of money is going to the bank because the, there's a bunch right. of shares in there. Yep, yeah. And then I will buy, so I need 630 in here. So I'll buy this three train for $100. Um, and so this is 630, which is enough for another six train. Uh, and should I bring, give money back to <laughs> this one? Probably. Uh, I'm not going to have any money for a token, though. But I'm not going to need it because <laughs> I won't get into New York anyway. So I'm just going to put this here because this one is going to need to buy <laughs> a train at some point. Mm -hmm. All right. So I, I've bought this. So this one will have to force purchase, but it has enough to get a six. So it won't have to buy this three. Okay. Similar to Toby's okay. thing. So now it's CNO's turn. So you can lay your track. Okay. And so you can either lay more track or you can upgrade this to brown. Or, or you can lay track here. Mm -hmm. if, if I can hit in here, mm -hmm. right? But that's... Two, two turns away. Two turns that may Well, not this takes you right... This, this does something. Potentially this does something. Oh, no, she has to do one turn. Um, yeah. So, so you only have a four train right now. Yeah. So you're going to be running probably from one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. um, so 
the only thing that is going to get you more money right now is to upgrade this. But if you want to plan for the future, you can kind of build out. I don't think there's a future. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, so that's maybe a valid I strategy. Do a brown yeah. Okay, and try to up my run price. Great. Right? Yeah, I should have withheld. So, uh, brown olo. Kind of with the X. Actually, I guess. can she even upgrade that? Yes, yeah, she can. No, because this. That's there's water. Oh, I guess you can't upgrade huh? that. Oh. Right? Which one? She can't upgrade this. Because oh, no, I can't run into water the water. In the way, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, so okay. you cannot upgrade this because it would spoke into here, which is an mm. illegal tile A. Wonderful. Okay. So the future's looking bright then, <laughs> I guess. I guess. Uh, if I try to lay another track mm. around here, I need to be able to buy a second train, correct? Yeah. So I could run both trains. Yeah. So it's probably not going to happen. Okay. So... You can just lay one anyways. For the heck of it? Yeah. All right. So you want to lay something like this? Too? Yeah. Okay. So try to maybe go that way. All right. Yeah, because that's 50, right? Yeah. It, but I have to have money to buy a second train so I can run this route and mm -hmm. that route. All right. <laughs> so you're going to run your four train? So yeah. it's going to be probably this is the best route. One, yes. two, three, four. Right. So that's going to be 100, 130, 140. Okay. So 14 per share. Okay. Now you have a decision here. Either you can pay it out as normal and get money, mm -hmm. or if you're kind of hoping to get a new train, you can withhold. If I withhold... All of the money would go into the corporation and yeah. your share price would go back. So no one would get any money mm -hmm. um, and your company would get all the money. And then I could buy a train. Maybe. That sounds... If it's there's well, another turn. Money. Yeah, it's not enough money, and your share price is going to go down. Yeah. So y usually, from what I've seen, unless you can use the money immediately, okay. it's generally not the best to withhold, mm -hmm. but it's, you know, it's hard option. to say. It's an option, yeah. yeah. Because you own 60% of the company. Yeah. So even if you have to buy the company, the train anyways, you're going to be paying for it yourself anyways. So getting the yeah. money here or in there, at least the share price goes up. Yeah, because those six shares um, would be either worth 69 or 63, which, so if you withhold, it, it loses $6 per share okay. in addition mm -hmm. for yourself. Um, so I'll pay out then. Okay, so you get $14 per share. Everyone gets $14. Okay, so 14. 15. So you get, I think, 84. All right. <laughs> Don't leave 20. I know. <laughs> All right, so your share price goes up because your shareholders are happy because you paid them out. Okay. All right, B&O's turn. Okay. Um, well, what what are my options on the brown then? I believe you were you wanted oh. to get into an NY, right? Yes. Yeah. So, so he wants it he wants it to go like that. I yeah. Think. Either that is an option or anything else with this Okay, that one's not possible because it hits water. the, the yep, water. Exactly. Um, and those are the only, that's the only one, other one okay. with this curve, because yeah. I took that one. So that's, that's a good, do you want to lay that now? Yeah, that, that seems like the best thing. Mm -hmm. All right, great. All right, and then. So now you I are in New York. <laughs> nice. So if you have the money, which it looks like you do, you could token New York. Right, with which this is company. Pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's bucks. just uh, the train situation, right? That's true. Yes. Uh, let's just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Love life on the edge. Uh, it doesn't make any di What difference does it make? It's going to be... <laughs> All right, so go ahead and run your... Do. You have two trains now. Right. So, uh, see, the route's kind of complicated now. So you can run, let's see, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. Okay. So that's actually pretty good. So yeah. it's going to be 30, 40, 90... 140, 200, 210, 270. Wow. So you're paying out 27 per share. Wow. Wow. But you only have two shares of BNL. That's right. But that, that's 47, okay. 47, right? Four, uh, 54. Well, that's, a, that's a good payout. I guess there's four in here. So. Oh, that's actually quite um, good. It gets... 27 times four into eight, the company. Uh, it was 27 per share? What did I say? I know, how much was it? 27 per share? Yeah, 108. Yeah. So for, for the company, right? And I get 27. Ah, that's a good investment. 
I can use that because I'm gonna need to spend it all on a train. Yeah. Soon. <laughs> Thank Very you. soon. You gave yourself seven. You need one more dollar, right? You oh. said eight. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. That's that's pretty promising for you because not only are you getting money, but your company is getting a lot of right. money. So that's pretty good. All right. Last is PRR. So PRR doesn't have a train, but it can lay a yes. track. And it got locked out of NY, so yes. that's pretty bad. But it'll just upgrade stuff. So it'll upgrade. Um, there's only these left. Okay. I guess it can upgrade this. Mm hmm. Uh, and then it falls back because it doesn't have a train, and then it has $630 that it uses to buy. The six train. And because, because the six train is bought, right. all, all the threes, threes go away. away. Oof. Oof, indeed. <laughs> right. Well, at least it got used once. They're uh, a big <laughs> yeah. one on that one. Uh, great. We're making progress. All right. So that was the first <laughs> operating round. Now we're in the second operating round. This is the final operating round because we only got into browns now. So in the next stock round, and then the next operating round after that, we'll have three operating rounds. Oh, okay. If we last that long. <laughs> I might not go bankrupt. I might go bankrupt. We'll you see. Might, well, mm. only if someone buys a diesel. That's true. Although I can buy the six by myself. Uh-oh. So, <laughs> it's going to be <laughs> B&M's turn. Bankrupt. So B&M is going to upgrade New York. So New York's going to open up even more. It's going to pay out even more. So there's a lot of holes now. Okay. And B&M will lay a token here for $40. $40. It has a four train. So it's going to run. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. So it's going to be 160, 170 plus 50 is 220. 20, uh -huh. 22 per share. I'm going to pay it out. So 22 for B and M. My share price goes up. 132. So you're not buying a six train. I uh, uh, can't. Yes, you can't. You don't have enough. If I withheld? No, you wouldn't have enough. No, but I can buy it over and then force purchase it. But I go first. You go first. So I would have to force pressure the diesel. Mm -hmm. mm. If I withhold, then I guess I could trade in. Chip myself $10. Mm. So That's I think it's hard to keep track of. Hmm. I, I yeah, I might try that. Withhold? So you have to withhold it? Yeah, so, yeah. All right, so with, I'm not going to pay out. Uh, I've decided I want to try to get a diesel. So I'm going to actually withhold. So how much did I say it was going to be? 22, right? 22, I think. 220 per shirt. So I'm going to hold $220. So I get that into my personal money. And I have one, two, three, four, five, which is not enough to That's buy. not your personal money, right? No. I you, my... you just said it went going to your personal money, but you meant to the company. Sorry, right? I meant yeah, to yeah. my company. So you're not putting in the right pile mm -hmm. if it's personal. Oh, and these privates should have been gone away. Oh, okay. For the five trade. When five was bought? That's right. Okay. All right. Does this one... Yeah. Yep. Okay. So these two are tied at 71, but this one is to the right. So Erie's going first. Yes. Uh, Erie will lay... I don't know. What? There's nothing. I guess I can try going out this way. Okay. Erie does not have a train, so it goes back. Um, and then Erie needs to force purchase a six train which I think I can do without going bankrupt, barely. <laughs> so because Yuri doesn't have enough money in their treasury, um, I have to pay money out of pocket. So I'm just going to take this money out here just so I can count it easier, because all of this is going to be combined to right. be money that I'm using to, to pay, pay the, the 630. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so let's get <laughs> chip up some. Okay, so I have four hundred and seven dollars, <laughs> and I will need to sell some shares. So, 
Uh, I'm going to sell a CNO. So I need, how much do I need? I need $200 more. Okay. Oof. So I'll sell these two. CNO and BNO, those are both at 69. And, oh, but N and H is going to be so good. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. But yeah. is it worth two shares of PRR? <laughs> so I can either sell three shares of PRR because, okay, there's only two in here. Yeah, it goes into brown. Yeah. Um, or I can sell two shares of PRR and one and an H. Um, so I, I do need to sell three. 120. So now I have 600, 6, 640, and we we'll get 10 change. So I bought the six train. It's a very expensive train. And, wow. Uh, <laughs> now I have very little left. Yes, so Ambi is in a I'm not crippled gonna position. Win. <laughs> <Probably> not. <laughs> but I didn't go bankrupt. That's true. So Okay. <laughs> so now it is CNO's turn. Wait, I didn't take this back yet from the last. Oh, okay. So that goes to the company. No, 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 no. that's your personal money. It goes to my personal well, don't our money. our fours rest now? Nope. No, when that's the when the D is bought. Is bought. Oh. So, so yeah. next round, next, so we're gonna have one more stock round, and next round I'm probably gonna buy the diesel. Mm -hmm. So at that point, the fours will rust. Yes, so and yeah. then one of you will probably go bankrupt. Now. Okay. So, yeah. but you can jockey to order to see <laughs> Who has to bite the bullet? Yeah. Okay. It's whoever goes first after he buys it, basically. Right. So CNO, right? Yeah. You can lay a track. Yeah. You want to connect here? Yeah, I can. Aff it's cannot free. afford a train, so. Okay. All right. Okay. Four train. So if I run. I think your old route was probably still um, better. Yep. <laughs> totally was. Yeah. So my old route is 30, 30, 40, right? No, this is 70 because we're in the next phase. Oh, 70. Yeah, so this is gonna be 140. Okay. So 140? Yep. Paying it out? Yes. All right. All right. So that's, this goes up, and 14 per share. Okay. All right, B&O's turn. Is it B&O? Oh, I think we messed up. Yeah, we've skipped some stuff here. C&O shouldn't have run. It should have been NYC, but that's okay. It doesn't make a big difference. We can do NYC first. Okay. Yeah, the, it doesn't hit any of the tracks, yeah, so. The order didn't matter. Okay. But, so we go ahead and run NYC. Yeah, so now I can upgrade, can I, with a, to maybe get um, into uh, What happened to that one? To New York. No, is it that one? It's this one. So yeah, you, you can. can upgrade and you can hit New York. Yeah. Yes. Like that. Well and you can it. also token that if you have money. Oh, you don't. No, I don't. Okay. It's 10 bucks isn't gonna get me anywhere. Mm. Oh, you have two trains. Yeah. But you can only run really run one of them. So it's just going to be one, two, three. Right. F and four. Mm -hmm. Is it because it's shared that I'm allowed to do that? No, there's no, a no, hole right here, a, so you can go through. Okay, yeah. cool. So it's going to be. But then you have to stop there. You have to stop right, here because right. it's terminal. So it's going to be 30, 110, 160. Okay. So 16 per share. So that's uh, 60, uh, 96. Right? Okay, 16 yes. times 6. Yep. And your share price goes up. All right. Next is can pack. That's you, Nikki. Okay. Oh. Wait, I did that wrong. Okay. <laughs> it needs to come out of my personal money. Okay, so 96. Easy enough to do it that way. Yes. Okay. okay. So you can first lay a track. Did you want to go to Ottawa? Yes, I do. All right, right this here. <laughs> Wonderful, and then I can run, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 40, 20, 10, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so. So seven per share. Okay, it's not such a wonderful track. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so seven. Times six. Times six. It's 42, and your stock price goes up. All right. That goes there. Now it is B&O's turn. I've only got one train that can do four stops, which I think we figured already. Yeah. 
Do you want to upgrade this B? It's a $20 upgrade, even if you don't use it now, it's still probably pretty what good. What would it do there? Where was it going to go? It's like oh, in that. there? Uh-huh. Is that a good spot to do? Uh, eh. It'll eventually go up to the 60, $60 B, so it'll be worth more later. Okay. All right. And that's... Uh, it's free. Oh, okay. All right, so we'll go ahead and run your four train. Okay. It's going to be one, two, three, four. Nice. So 60, 160, 170, 22. So 22 per share. 22 per share. And I have two shares, so that's right. 44. Yep. Plus um, something into the company, right? Yeah, five. there's five shares in the company. So that's 22, 100 and, uh, 100, eight, 110. 110. Oh, yeah. did you pay? No, you had didn't. two shares in the company I didn't. for that one. So oh, where does it? What was that? So Some it was ones. here, right? It was 100. Yeah. 30, 140, so 14, so 28. Yeah, so 28 to go into oh, this. No. No, 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 extra. 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 20. Okay. So your share price goes up. Now it's N and H's turn. This is going to be one. What do you need, Nick? Eight. I need to make it eight. Okay. I got a five already. I couldn't grab the. You need I an need additional the, eight? I just need, need the, the three. three. Okay. And that goes into the company. So NNH is going to upgrade this tile here to a green B here. And it's just going to run 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's going to be 16, 17, 22, 23. So 23 per share for orange. Paying out? Paying out. And it has 3 to the company. So that's 23. Yes. So that's 69. <laughs> Okay, and my share price goes up to 68. Okay, and then PRR is up. Okay. Uh, PRR will upgrade this to 40. And then it runs a six. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. And that is 6, 10, 11, 13. So it pays out 13 per share. I have three, so that's 39. And there's five in here. 13 per 13 share. 13 per share. I think 65, right? Your share. The B and one? one of yours, just hmm? to be getting money from somebody else's. Um, Line, mm. not just my and own. It, it, and that was it for the operating rounds, right? Mm -hmm. All right, we're in the stock round now. So, this is probably going to be the final stock round uh, because from this position, we can see that I'm probably going to buy a diesel. Okay. Right? So that means it's very critical for you guys to kind of battle that out to. F to kind of plan and see who it's hot potato. You don't want to be the one to buy the diesel. Because the game will end immediately, probably as soon as someone buys the diesel. Oh, okay. So the idea is how can you manipulate the stock market such that you run so wherever B and M buys the diesel, the next person to have to buy a train is gonna to have to buy it. So for example, in this current state, yeah. if this one bought the diesel, then the first person to buy the diesel would be um, CNO. So that would be not good. that would not be good for you. Okay. So you can manipulate the stock prices by selling like one share to bring it down, but then Lincoln could sell one share and bring it down. Okay, so he doesn't get stuck with it having. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So this is the idea here to try to avoid the mm -hmm. the hot potato. Okay. Once it hits the ledge, though, it can't be moved anymore. Any lower? Um, yeah. Yes. During the stock round. So I'm the first to go. Let's see. B and O is good, so I'm going to buy one of those shares. No, not B and O. <laughs> like what? <laughs> B and O is not good. Uh, what is good? I guess well, What's good is what's going to run before. That's right. So uh, NYC is probably going to so run this one. first. Yeah. So I'll, I'll buy an NYC for... Seventy-six dollars. Yep. One 
So that's... Okay, Nikki, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. So, I want to buy into somebody's stuff. Oh, interesting. Okay. What you can do now is you can actually buy mm -hmm. one of Lincoln's shares yeah. and then sell it right now. Because I'm if you do, do that, so you'll ensure that he'll go before you. Because, so if you buy a share, right, yeah. for $69 and right. then you sell it, he'll go here first. Okay. And then if you buy, and then if you sell your share, then you'll go underneath him. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then if there's no more movement, like they can't move anymore, so they won't be going, um, changing order after that. Okay. So I buy one of his, um, yeah, right. Baltimore. You know, for you 68 know. and you sell it. Yeah. Because you don't have to spend any money. Bump, bump. So now the okay. share price goes down. Okay. So now for Lincoln. See, now Lincoln wants to get this down. Oh, right. <laughs> so he has to get the B&M to the lower stock price. Mm -hmm. This one here? Mm. Mm-hmm. So I guess to do that, you just have to buy shares of it. Right. From here versus there? Whatever's or? cheaper. So well, I can only buy one, so at this point in time. Right. So it's 76 for that. Yeah. Let's just do this here. Mm -hmm. 124. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. All right, so you buy the share. Then it, I'd want to sell it, you're saying? Not immediately. Okay. Because okay. you want to keep buying. Sure. Until you can sell more at a time. Mm. Okay. So the goal is to drop it below here, 68. Right. So you just need to buy, get it to 66. Does it drop yet? No. No, no it's only not until I sell. Yeah. Okay, so I was actually going to buy and sell that, but I don't need to now. Um, so now I'll just, I guess, invest in things <laughs> since I have very little chance of improving my position. Um, yeah, I will invest in NYC for 76. Okay. Yeah. I will just buy a Erie for sixty-seven. That's thirty-three. Okay. I mean, but the problem is, is well, it doesn't matter. I'm, and then I'm buying multiple stocks of the same company, right? But you're just going to sell them. Yeah. Yeah, if you but, sell it right away, then there's no... There's no There's no fear. Oh. Okay. So the only fear is if you hold those, and then in the operating round, I jiggle it so right. that... It's worth nothing. And that's right. You bail. But there's no harm in having multiple shares right now. Right. All right, Nikki? Well, I think I want to buy an NYC. Okay. So that's 76. That's 76. I think I... Okay, then another one at. Uh, They're going to be more. Hundred. Hundred dollars now because yeah. you have to buy them here. Right. And then do mm -hmm. I sell now? Yeah, you can. So that would you would get seventy six dollars for the two of those. Right. I mean, I think that's what I have to do, right? Uh, yeah. Do I want to try to go lower? Than, does it make any difference? It I can't hurts buy, me. I can't even buy another stock. Uh, yeah. Sure. yeah. So yeah. More, yeah. 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 So one fifty two. Yep. Yeah, this is weird. <laughs> I'm not sure I really... It's very weird. Yeah. Okay. Ambi? I pass. I don't have any money. I will pass. Hmm. You have some money left. I do. Yeah, I'm so I should. need to buy something. You want to buy I something think. that pays. Yeah. And don't forget, you need you to get your CNO lower in price. 
I do. Well, now she doesn't. Oh, now you don't. <laughs> That's right. Okay. <laughs> um, who is going to pay? Wait. Or does she? Oh, oh wait. Because this is 68. So B and M's oh. gonna run, right? Yeah, oh, sixty-six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should make it so it's clear. Yeah. So she she does need to. Okay. I do. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. You'll need to sell one share. First, and I want to have to buy a. You don't want to buy train. It. That's right. I am going to um, sell a share to drop my price there. Okay. So it goes up to the bank, and I get sixty-nine for it. Is that? Uh, yes. Because, yeah, I should have bought stuff that's going to pay, not stuff that's going to hurt me. That's why I was like, I didn't quite understand. I'm like, well, it seems like it's going below. Mm. That's, yeah. I think the only ones that are paying are... You can buy Campac. This one and this one? Yeah. The Campac and, and Erie Pay. Oh, and this one. Oh, and it, oh. NYNH is the best to yeah. buy. At, uh... Yeah, no, it's 68. 68. Yeah, 68. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Hamby? I pass. I pass as well. I have enough to do some more. Yeah, NY and or NNH is going to pay and good share, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's probably the best share to get right now. All right, so I will buy that. Okay, $67. Or $68. 68. Sorry. I guess I buy the other share of Nikki's stock. Can pack? Yeah. Yep. 71. Yes, okay, Ambi. Pass. pass. I pass. Okay. You could buy an Erie for 67, or if you want to risk it, another NYNH for 68. But that will make the price increase. Oh, that's true. So an Erie would be better. Yeah, Erie's going to pay, so it, yeah, it's, it's better than nothing. Not so 67 yeah. for Erie. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I have... And the share limit at four players is 16, so you can't have more than 16 pieces of paper. Oh. So I'm good under. 12 and Erie was... <laughs> you have five pieces of paper. 67. <laughs> There's no reason for me to buy anything more. Okay, you pass. Can't. Anyway, yep. Pass. Pass and I'll pass. Yep. All right, so Lincoln's priority deal. All right, so nothing is sold out, right? So we're going to have three operating rounds, theoretically. So NYC is running first. So that's you, Lincoln? Mm Mm-hmm. So you can upgrade this to uh, make it better. You want to do that? Sure, sure. All right. Cool. So you're running your five train? Yep. So it's going to go one, two, three, four. Okay. Right. 40, 120, 170. Mm-hmm. How many shares are there sold? Uh, I don't know. You have six. Right. right? And I have I one, have so I get four. $17. Right. What is it? 17 times six. six. Yeah, 102. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the share price of NYC goes up. All right. Next is Canpac. Can I go a little further? Sure. Yeah. So it goes through there. Okay. And then you want to lay like this? Yeah. Yep. Or a straight? Those are your two options. Probably two options. Uh, just straight. Straight. Not okay. that anything else is probably going to happen. So, so we're train. Five train. Yeah. So 40, 20, 10. Uh huh. All right. So seven, seven for sure. Okay. And then can you get paid out? Seven. I think you have two shares, right? Or you have one share? Yeah, I only have one. Uh, this red, is. Red. Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't want two because yeah. I didn't have the money anyway. So it goes up. Oops, I didn't do it in the right Next place. is NY and NH. NH will upgrade this. It runs five train again for one, two, three, four, five. So it's 16, 17, 18, 23. So 23 
for an H. So that's 138. It goes up. And then B and O. Right. Is there any upgrade worth doing? Mm, you can upgrade the B. The B to a 50. To this. Yeah, it gets do it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. It's a 60 now. It's 60. Yeah. You have four train. Yep. So he runs this way? No, no. No. It's into New York. I think the New York is still way. better. Yeah. Because that's a 16, 17, 22. It's still, still mm -hmm. better. Well, right? that's one, a 16. two, three, four, right? Oh, one, two. Oh, oh. No, you want to hit New York twice. Oh, New York twice. So one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. So 17. So, so okay, yeah, 22 so. is still better. Yep. Uh, so 44 for that one. So if you wanted to, also you could withhold, right? And you can get two hundred twenty dollars into the company to buy the diesel instead, right. or you could pay it out because you only have two shares, right? Yeah. So I, I don't know. It might be better to hold. I don't know because um, you're only getting. Yeah, and the share price only changes. It's sixty nine versus sixty seven. Yeah. So that might be worth it. Probably worth holding. Okay. Where's the so rest? you get two hundred twenty dollars. You get all the money. Okay. Into the company instead. Right. And that means that Nikki will have to withhold. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. You see, you changed the order as well. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. That's good for him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Nikki, now your turn for CNO. Fantastic. How much is it for that? It's 40 if I want to do a token there, right? Yeah. It would actually cost $100 because it's your last token. Oh, it's my last. It I was looking at mm. the wrong company. But it, it's not better than this a anyway, still. Yeah, it's still 70, better. 30, yeah. 30. So I'll just run this one and leave okay. it at that. Cool. So that's $140. Okay. So would it have been smarter for me to sell some of these stocks so that there would have been money that came into this? So that I could have added a token? Uh... I see. That could have that could have worked. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry about it. Um, one hundred and forty. Yep. Total. So fourteen per share for C. Fourteen per share. And there would or be no reason for me to rehold it. If you don't withhold, yeah. you're gonna go before me. I want to hold it. You want it to be in the company. Right. So that your yeah. share okay. price changes. So one. 40 straight into the company. That's right. And so this share price drops. B&M's turn. Eerie. Oh, Eerie. Eerie's turn. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, so Eerie doesn't have enough money to lay here and... Okay, whatever. It'll... <laughs> it's patient. Uh, and it just has the same $70 per share paying out. So 7 times 2 is 14. So just and seven. Then, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is just three, right? Uh-huh. Five, five, uh, Okay. All right. B and M's. You have it too. Oh, I'm sorry. How much did I get? Seven. 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 Okay. So much money. So much money. <laughs> hey, it's money. Money's money. B and M's up. Uh, okay. So I've got a four train. So it's gonna go. I think this is still the best route for us. 22, so 22 holding it. Do you that's enough? I don't know. <laughs> so I need 800. So as I said before, you can trade in one of these for a discount. So this would only cost $800. So I need $800. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you don't have enough. 40, 50, 60. How much do you need? 800. He needs like 30 more, I think. Yeah, I need one so more round of this. So go one more round. So it's 4... You're almost there, right? I only seven. have 7, 40, 50, 60. So I'm, I'm a little bit short. Oh. You uh, upgraded everything you could? But that's trading in the train? Oh, that's what this no. discounted rate is. Yeah, it's 800 yeah, yeah, yeah. instead of 1100. Right. Ooh, is this worth it? Huh? We'll see. I don't know if it's worth it. Probably not. <laughs> All right. Nikki uh, might win. Nikki might win, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. PR is next. 
Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. One, two, three. Uh, okay, you can lay that. I think. I guess. Another. Yay! So he's finally using the six train. Mm. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. <laughs> Small victories. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so ten, eleven. Fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars for sure. <laughs> for sure. Paying out. Um. Yes. Forty-two. I was like, I didn't. What did I do? And I forgot <laughs> I put the money in here. Oh, and yeah. then what is this? This is five. Fourteen times five is seventy. Seventy. Wait. All right. So you go up. All right. These flip over. Ah, I have enough for a token. Everything flips over. So this is probably the final operating round, but this is the second operating round. Although there should be three. So NYC. There's is gonna up. be two and a half. Two and a half. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe. Okay, NYC. Uh, same thing, right? It's. Oh, do I? Oh wait, I could potentially upgrade the one to brown, right? Yeah. Might as well. Sure. Yeah. Get as much money. Well, he's not using this track. Oh. So. I'm using it. So. <laughs> All right. So, I don't think anything's changed for you, right? So it's still going to be 22? Yeah. Oh, no, 23, because you have a 5 train? Wait, yeah. wait, no, I'm sorry. You are using this track because you're NYC. Right. So that does help you. Okay. Oh. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going to be 40, 50, 130, 180. 18 per share. Okay. This is NYC? NYC. Do I stack this on here or should I you wipe this? You can move this? it out. Wipe it over, yeah. 18 per share. Now, do I want it? Is there something I can do to to place a token in New York? Uh, mm. So, if you wanted to, you could hold right to token. But you can't token until next turn. Okay. If you do that. Okay. Oh, move this up. Yep. Okay. Uh, can pack is next. Yep. Yeah. I should have curved up this way on that last you turn. You can take it back. You want to say you wrote the distance there? Yeah. Thing? I didn't, I'm That's sorry, right. I didn't see it. Yeah, it's 50, it. right? Mm -hmm. And then you want to lay and the And then I'm going to lay yeah. that one okay. to be 50. Great. So you're just running 40, 20, 10, 50? Yeah. So that's 6, 7, 12. So 12 per share? 12 per share. 68. 12 times 6 is six, uh, 72. 72, I'm 72. sorry. Yeah. Hold on, I'll get uh, 40. No, that's cool. Right. 60, 72, we're... I, I need to put some ones back. Yeah. We have some over here. Uh -huh. I got. Do we? Or should we have move this cash over so that yeah. we? Because we're keeping track of that. So yeah. Sure. Well, yeah. 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 Okay. Camp hat goes up. One mm -hmm. eight for that. Eight. Okay. So Erie is next. Um, it actually has this route now. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it has no need to upgrade anything. Okay. So that's 7, 11, 12, um, 25. 25, correct? wow. 25 per share paying out. That's pretty good. 25 per share. Finally. Pretty good. Which, which I didn't one? trust Yellow. it though. Oh, 25? Yeah. I didn't believe in it. Mm. 75. <laughs> All right. And then H's turn. I think it's the same. It's going to run for 23. So 23 paying out for NNH. Only 23? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next. BNO? Oh no, 60. Is oh no, it is BNO. Yeah, yeah. BNO. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's no more upgrading necessary. Mm -hmm. I could do the four, so let's just... 16, 17, 16, 20, 22. 22. 22 for okay. Yeah. Okay. And are you withholding or...? Yeah, I guess maybe I should, right? Once again, and make her do the same thing and it reduces the value of the stock. Is that a good thing or a bad thing at this point? I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah? <laughs> Because here it reduces it more. Mm, it's true. Seven per. Seven per share. I only have two shares on. Oh, one, you only have you two. You have two yeah, shares. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, you probably want to. Yeah. Yeah. 
So it's uh, 22, two shares, $44. <laughs> No, so you just put 220 in there. Yeah, oh, that's get, right. That's right. I get it all. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so you have, you're like halfway to the diesel there. Mm hmm. Okay, so being a good thing. Seven. Wait, did you actually take the. No, I didn't take the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to keep our chips a little bit more organized. I know. It. I mean, you've organized it, which is good. But. I know, I know. Oh, it is were... cleaned up now. No. I know. I thought, like, theirs were all nice and nice. <laughs> all right, see you those next. Yeah. So I have to withhold. Yeah, so the Again. battle. All right. So it sucks, though, because you have more shares. My die. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. I don't, uh, two, three, four. So again, it's going to be $140 for you. F only five. I only have five because I sold that one. Oh, you sold one. Mm hmm. Okay. How much? <laughs> you get 140 into okay. your company. <laughs> All right. And then finally, b and going to run. I don't think this was worth doing. I think I hurt myself too much doing this. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So b and M is going to run for 22, so 220 volts. And it's going to buy now the diesel, so it pays $800, one, two, three, four, $800 to exchange the four. Right. So now it buys a D. So all the four trains go away now. Oh boy. And so, yeah, the Ds are different because they can run infinite track. Oh, How yeah, much yeah, yeah. money were you at? 700? I was at seven. Oh, he was almost to the upgrading. Almost to the upgrade. 20. So you were close to buying the diesel too. Right. Which would have been pretty bad for me. So PRRN, right? No. No, nope, PR is going. Yeah. Forgot. You, you forgot about PR. PR is amazing. <laughs> um. It's hanging in there. <laughs> Doing its best. An upgrade. The little train that could. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just chugging along, <laughs> chugging upgrading along. as it can. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six is what it does. So that's six, 10, 11, 14, 15? 15 per share. Can I have three per share? Anyway, 45. Okay, green is paying 15 per share. No one. No. All right. And it has, so that's 75. 60, 75. So you're paying out, right? Yeah. All right, so these all go flip. So this is the final operating round. Okay. Okay. NYC is running? Yep. So just again, the same thing. Yep. yep. Four, five, 13, 18. Okay. 18 for NYC. 18. Okay. 18. 108. <laughs> you yeah. can do it. So this is where the dividend board is nice because, in, well, actually, it doesn't help. You have to always remember your your six times x. <laughs> That's where paper helps. Paper helps, yeah. <laughs> so NYC goes up in share price. Yep. Okay, cam packs up. I'm just gonna run the train. Uh, there is no upgrading. There might you be can upgrade, upgrade this one. Yeah. That one yeah. You should. Oh oh oh. Yeah. 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 You want to okay. upgrade this? Yes. Uh, sure. Strictly better. You can do that. And it's legal. Legally, yes. Okay. Legal. Mm -hmm. And I still have a train to run, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll run that one. Yep. That's 40, 70, 80, 130. Uh huh. Okay. So 13. 13 per sure. 13 sure. times 6 is uh, 96. Oh, you don't have it, so. I colored up 90. like a dork. Doesn't matter, because it's supposed to go on the one thing anyway. 96, right? Is what I said. There you go. What was it 16? It? 13 per share? Mm -hmm. 13. Yep. Just making sure I mark it. Okay, Eerie? I could token now. Hmm. Which would hurt NNH, because it goes mm -hmm. after. Yes, I'll do that. Because now I have money. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Is that the worst for you? That's pretty bad. <laughs> I, I, I lose 50 <laughs> income. Okay. Well, I have one share of that. And then, like, everyone else using that already went, right? Yeah. Or, okay, um... Sort of. The one that's gonna have to... Well, B&O has that token, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. So it's just hurting these ones. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hurt my company. <laughs> yeah. And well, this one's not gonna go anyway. Okay, so... Uh, it has... Eight, nine... Oh, wait. Here. Eight... Four... Er, Thirteen, fourteen... 18, 25, right? 25 per share, Kay. paying out. Pretty good. Yeah, that was what it was last time. Okay, so that goes up. And NH has been blocked off, so it needs a new route. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, <laughs> 4, 5. So it's 16, 17, 18, 21. So only 21 for NH this turn. Wow. Well, it was only... It was 23 more, before, yeah, it so like it, was that it didn't hurt it that much. <laughs> <laughs> Two bucks. Yeah. All right, and that goes up. When you lose by uh, yeah. <laughs> two <laughs> times six or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> 12 dollars. All right, yeah. so now it's B&O's turn. Yeah. So you need to buy a diesel. Yeah. So it's going to cost 1100 Wait, uh, uh, I get to go first. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. PR. <laughs> The strong PRR wow. will upgrade this. Sorry about that. I keep forgetting about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's still there. Uh, I think it's it was 15 last time, so 16 per share. Yeah. Paying out. Okay. <laughs> 16. Um, you know what? I missed uh, uh, Erie. Erie's 25. Okay. And then what is this? 5, 16 times... I said 16, right? Uh -huh. 16 times 5 is... 80? Yeah. Oh, he has so much money now. Good. Okay, so this has gone. b and O's turn. Right. So you don't have enough money in there, so you can just go ahead and bring it all to your own cash. But I think you do definitely have enough to buy the diesel. Mm-hmm. Oops, I guess, it, I guess it all comes over anyway. Yeah, it all comes over anyway. So you need 1,100. Let's see how much you have. I should have it. Not that one. Not that one. Yeah. Uh, you didn't have to sell any shares. It's pretty good. You didn't buy it fast enough. Yeah. If you oh. had done it earlier. Did all that cashing out. Yeah. Both he and I would not have been. Well, only one person needs to buy it. Okay. But now two of you need to buy it. Yeah. Okay, so, so it goes back. It back. Okay, now CNO's turn to CNO buy it. CNO also goes back. Poof. Okay, so. So you just take all that money. And this. Yep, all of that. And okay, we have to come up with eleven hundred. Well. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it's, might go it's bankrupt. It's all for that right there. Yeah. Well, yep. let's do this. Here is all my ones and all my fives. There's a twenty hiding yeah, there. If it hadn't gone that other half round, there's no way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Here well, you we could have, you would have sold shares. Yeah. yeah. It's still been fine. These these are a lot. Yeah. No. Uh, and she's got these to sell. So. Right. Two. Four. She might be able to do it. Mm. That's a hundred. Two. Ten. Another one hundred. It's forty four years old, <laughs> and it still it still runs. It doesn't <laughs> make sense. <laughs> I guess it's where it's at anyway. It's all some regional train. It's not right. It, it touches New York, and that's it. Gets the city, the yeah. the country folk into the city. Thirty, forty. It's forty. Okay, so here's where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. And then I plus all that. Yeah. Scoop all that scoop up. All that in, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. 700. Keep going because you got another 100 right there with the brown. Uh, Eight. All of that? Yep. There's 800. Okay. And then. Uh, That's all my ones and yep. another five. Add them up anyway. So it's another 20, I think, for those, correct, right? Uh, 20, yes. Yep. And one, two, three, four, five. A whopping five for that. Mm -hmm. And. 
uh, $3. So now I'm at what? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred and twenty-five. Yeah, you're gonna get six, there. Six, no seven, twenty-eight. Eight, eight hundred and twenty-eight. So no one's gonna go bankrupt this game. Wow. Okay, I thought for sure no. my moment had come. <laughs> I was the closest. <laughs> yeah. I was like, like eighty dollars. Shit, yeah, eighty dollars away from bankruptcy. Okay. <laughs> so, but so. you do need to sell some shares yeah. to get there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how much? So you had 800? Uh, I already forgot. 825. Okay, that's why I kept saying it so out loud. So you just need 200... Uh, 75. 75. 275. How much is that? That's at 100. So if you sell... So NYC... That's okay. And then H. Here is 25. So right now, I think the worst is your is your Canadian Pacific. Okay. But you own it, so that affects your share price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you sell these three instead, yeah, I think that would get you there because that's one eighty. That's what I was thinking. No, it doesn't because it's only. Doesn't. It's only two fifty five. So I sell one of the Canadian. That's ninety. Do you want to sell the Canadian or do you want to sell the? Maybe seat? I yeah. sell a. I mean, no, so you know, so you know for 50. 50. There's any only yeah. only Toby's got any. It doesn't make any difference. You're still being yeah. You probably want to sell an H to yeah. hurt me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To lower my stock price. So of that's course. So there's seventy five dollars. Seventy five dollars. There's another fifty if I sell a C and O. One twenty five. One twenty five. So that goes down this yeah. way or this way? Down. Uh, down. Yeah. Okay. And then. Well, you probably should target the people that are in the lead. I mean, you can hit uh, me too, but I'm definitely uh, not no, close. Uh, wait, I need another hundred, right, or another fifty? She needs one fifty. Yeah, another hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, I sold one of those. Don't sell any more of yours. Sell uh, and sell I Ambies and mine. Sold that. Selling mine doesn't yours. actually hurt it the price hurt because it's oh, on that the ledge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. So this will get you one hundred eighty. Sell one of yours. Yeah. 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 So you sell those two. Yeah. Okay. And the Erie. Is that right? This way uh, or this way? It goes way? down, yeah. yeah. So, so you get now $180. Is that right? Yeah, so 180 mm -hmm. plus... I sold three, four. I just sold... Okay. So you get 180 plus 125 is 305. Yep. And you need... Mm -hmm. uh, two, you needed 275, right? Yeah. So you, need, you have 20... You have 30 bucks, right? Go ahead and just change. So I take all this and yeah. dump it and give me my $30. Yeah. Dollars yeah. And I'm great. All right, so you have diesel chair now. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> doesn't feel doesn't feel great. So we can call it here. Uh, playing it out the rest of the way right. would would take some time. Okay. Uh, but I think this what would what would happen? Well, we would, we would build just out. Keep running, build yeah. out um, the track, uh -huh. pay out, and then some. So the companies that have diesel runs. If they have good Since routes... Since nothing else is going to go out, um, the fives won't go away, the sixes yeah, won't go away. Yeah, nothing's right, so going right. to go away. So the trains are probably going to stay the same. Yeah. And then it's just the routes. So we would continue um, to build routes to maximize the diesels. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's possible that the diesel train, depending on token placement, will make really good routes. Right. Mm -hmm. So anyone that has the... And we all have a diesel. Except for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But your six is still huge. Right? Yeah, Considering. but it's not... Right. Very, like this one is not good, or actually it, it did get good because yeah. it got in there and tokened. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I have money for tokens now, so. I think we have a good feel of the game now, especially for for your first play. <laughs> so this game would go a little bit longer because we would need to run the bank out because everyone's in a stable position now. <laughs> so when the bank runs out, which is at $12,000, then the game would be over. So the game would consist of building more track and running all the trains. and. Throughout the game, as we build track, the diesels could run for a lot of money. Okay. But just since it's our first game, I think it's a good place to stop. Yeah. We've right. kind of experienced most of the game, and we can just count up our, our shares and our money and see kind of where we stand. Because yeah. at this point, you're just an, amassing money. That's so. right. Mm -hmm. Right, which, yeah. I mean, it. Toby is... You've actually got pretty good share yeah. with this. Right. Um, right. Although it did yeah, cost a lot of money. It cost you money, yeah. yeah. You did have a lot of money in BNO, so it didn't cost yeah. you too much. Yeah. Right. Um, 
Yeah, it's too bad but, the diesel is. I, well, I'll sell it to this company for ten. <laughs> yeah, you could do that. You could buy a second <laughs> diesel. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and figure it out and okay. see where we're at. Yeah, uh, well, let's start with you. Do you want to chip out before you do that? Sure, I'll chip out first. Yeah. Chip up. Chip up. Not whatever. out. Oh. <laughs> Should I get a paper and write it down? Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to tally up the score. It's not the end, the real end of the game, but it's kind of a good stopping point. So we're just going to see kind of where we're at. Right. So I'm going to count my money. It's six hundred sixteen dollars. Woof. And my my stocks. Basically, the way you calculate it is for each stock share that you have. Right. And each at that value. At that value. So this would be worth eighty for me, and I have six and and H at seventy. So that's worth four twenty. So total, my shares are worth one thousand twenty one. Nice. Putting me at sixteen thirty seven. Oof, way higher than that's me. That's nice. Because <laughs> I only had like, what did you have, Nikki? <laughs> Seven hundred and thirty. In shares that's and shares cash. That's shares and cash. And I, I think I had eight hundred in shares and ninety in cash, so eight hundred ninety. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And I had. <laughs> and I had 385 in cash and 521 in stock, so 906 total. Neat. So. Woof. Well, then Toby killed us. But he was able to keep his stock. Yes. Right? He had yes. that money to, to be able to buy that diesel, that, uh -huh. so he yeah. knew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think if the game had kept going, things might have been a little bit different. Right. Mm -hmm. um, because you still would have been fine, though. I'm, yeah. yeah. You still would have won, probably, because you had these good routes, although, although you I did, did get, token you get you there, out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, But it wasn't that much, right? Uh -huh. Like how long, it seems like to play out to the $12,000 would be a long time, potentially. This does hurt his diesel, because right. he can't go Can't through. go as yeah. far. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it could go the other direction, potentially, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So as we start paying out the bigger trains, more money will come out, so it actually doesn't take that long. The part that takes the most amount of time is optimizing your routes. Right. Yeah. But some groups, they don't really care about the ten, twenty dollars, so they'll just kind of math it out and say, okay, there's oh. going to be three rounds left, three times this amount, and then move the stock price. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, what did you so think? Yeah. Um, I liked it. It. I yeah. think I need like a chart. We, we, need the, we need the Andy Toby <laughs> expansion yes. to actually play the game. To do all the calcing. Yeah. Um, it well, has this helped a lot for sure, actually. Oh, yeah. It was yeah, really nice to just beginning. have it and quickly know. Yeah. It has a lot of good train game stock market elements um, from other train um, games that I've played. Right. Um, what was the, bi the big one with the nice... Uh, oh, uh, rail, uh, Railroad Tycoon? Railroad Tycoon I've played several times. I enjoyed that one a lot. And you've played um, some of the winsome I've games played from Queen. Um, yeah. Some of the... Win Winston, Winsome, yeah. Winsome Games, which has, it's almost like they took elements of this game they, and made mm, it a they game. They really are kind of like mm -hmm. the inspiration. Right. I don't know what the first one of these like was. Like a it was this stock one. market train <laughs> one. And then they took out the, you know, it just seems like there's just, this is all of the Winsomes into one yeah. <laughs> thing. But I, enjoy, I always enjoy... Um, trying to lay tracks uh -huh. and all of that. The one thing I didn't realize that would come into play was actually knowing the tiles. Yeah, it's, yeah. Um, that's a hard one. Yeah. Knowing what to place so that when you get to the green, you get to the brown. Um, I think I, think, I, think I would I have messed around Ambie with that, that for a while <laughs> um, before even playing the game right. just to understand the tiles. But um, I like the idea of claiming your your spaces and all of that kind of stuff and the way the routes upgrade as far as the money goes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's basically, to me, it's like this, you're running uh, head, headlong into each other and if you can make it where you do not go bankrupt, then it becomes the, the tile laying train game yeah. if yeah. you can make it. Um, which is probably Nikki's favorite part of that stuff, except <laughs> it is like a, a, you know, a math equation the entire time trying it to is. figure out all the stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I had a heck of a time seeing all the stuff. It's especially this knot over here is really hard to. to <laughs> yeah, it's really a lot to take in. I really like this kind of stuff, but I absolutely would have a heck of a time. I'd have to play it a bunch of times to where I became. Yeah. I mean, I was seeing the stuff, and I could figure out, but I could like how this stuff worked. Actually, the stock market part, part is easy for me. Mm -hmm. um, it's this stuff that becomes the pain in the rear end because like seeing where you need to be able to. Like this whole mess here, I think it was, 
Oh, no, this worked out. It was over here. It was from B&O. Mm-hmm. I, I ended up being okay because I got into New York City. Mm-hmm. But that's where I think I hurt Amby. Like, her chances were lost there when yeah. she wasn't able mm-hmm. to... When I thought, well, if I go now, then I get to go brown before yeah, she mean, does and, that, and put myself in New York. That was a good play. Because <laughs> it was like either you or me. But uh, we needed to get him there. I, didn't, I wasn't against you. Was the, <laughs> well, he was like trying to I tell us doing that okay we, we didn't want, want him doing this. Which, yeah. how would we do yeah. that? You can't. Yeah, we were. Or no, uh, I did that. It was this one. This one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah. would have needed to you build that somewhere else, but there aren't that many places to Yeah, build. so that, that's the thing about these kind of games that a lot of people find interesting is that there's these subtle moves that you have to see a couple turns in advance and that are very critical, like this whole play, the order of that, this play, mm-hmm. if you had blocked that well, off. Well, you told us, too, like that we would, mm-hmm. wouldn't want you to do it, but I'm like, I don't see how you could possibly <laughs> do that, right? Yeah. Especially if you don't have all the trains and pl- uh, your companies in place to be able to place those tiles potentially before you. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. is when this started to go crazy here, yeah. where it, uh, you know, my company ended up, even though it's a wimpy little company, it didn't get hurt because mm-hmm. it did get into New York, yeah. um, mm-hmm. didn't get as far then after that. Thankfully, that last round made it so that I didn't I didn't bankrupt. And that would be tough, right, if you bankrupted. It would be... Yeah, so, yeah, so usually when you bankrupt, it's it's tough because you have to sell a lot of shares, so you lose a lot of, lose a lot of value. Right. Yeah. Well, I was almost there. Um, I think I was like one share away from, from going bankrupt mm-hmm. because I had... Like I think I had like ten dollars left over and one share. I think so. If it was a hundred more dollars or something, I would have gone bankrupt. Right. It seems <laughs> rough. That, like how do you? I guess it is for the long haul. Ultimately, if you're gonna, <laughs> you know what I mean. Your this stuff doesn't have any value except in the long game. Ultimately, mm-hmm. so you spend all that money just to stay in the game. I, I mean, it is. It's chicken. Yeah. You're playing yeah. chicken until you can, mm-hmm. or like you said, hot potato. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Which seems very hard. Um, it's definitely hard for a first play because you just kind of grasp what's yeah. going on. And there's so many chain reactions that happen that are hard to see. Mm-hmm. But definitely with more plays, you'll kind of see these patterns and kind of mm-hmm. see, oh, if I do this now, oh, then for sure I'll get this train and someone else will have to buy right. the bigger train. I, I would have definitely played towards being able to handle the buying, buying the diesel. Well, I don't know it. if that's a true... <laughs> Tactic, but you clearly. made it, so it doesn't make any difference. But, yeah, everyone survived in this right. in this mm-hmm. game, so everyone kind of succeeded. It was my fault for playing poorly. I should have gotten the diesel faster, <laughs> uh, but I, I mismanaged. I didn't count my money exactly. Okay. So that's why you guys had extra time <laughs> to save up for the diesel. Right. Otherwise, you definitely would have bankrupted people. That's and right. They, okay. But the thing is, even if I had bankrupted, for example, Lincoln, mm-hmm. you were doing pretty well, so I might have not have won. So I might have stopped the game, but gotten second place. Okay. Right. Well, that's so tough, too. Could you imagine trying to track that? I mean, some folks <laughs> yeah. like to pay attention to that. I don't think I could deal with it. Although it is kind of clear what you have. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But oof, I wouldn't want to do yeah. it. Um, <laughs> I mean, I know you guys play a, a lot of these uh, in this system. Mm-hmm. Uh, is this one of your favorite ones? I know you talk about it a lot. Uh, um, so yeah, uh, you mentioned that the stock part is easy for you and then the route building is harder. For me, it's like the opposite. Like I'm very spatial. Um, I, I mean, I am too. But yeah. this is not. But you know these yeah, yeah. better than I do, for sure. Yes. I mean, I didn't know them at all. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm I'm very spatially oriented. Mm-hmm. But uh, the stock market part was not a problem for me. I was like, okay, I see where that's going. I mean, there was a few times where I didn't know exactly what to do because it was I kind of ran into a roadblock. But I understood mm-hmm. how it worked. Um, I like stock market games. Yeah, I like the stock market part because. That's more challenging for me, I think. <laughs> and um, the timing of, of getting the trains, I think, mm. is really fun. So the games that have more the stock market manipulation and like are emphasize the timing on getting the trains, right. I really like. Was the, is there another one of these that has a lot of the same elements that does something different that is interesting? Yeah, so 1830 is kind of what people say is like the base of the system. And based off of 1830, there's a lot of other games. So yeah. some games, if you don't like the stock part or you don't like how aggressive the rusting is, there are games that are focused on building a good company. For example, 1846 that was recently made by GMT, re- reprinted by GMT, really focuses on building a good company and timing kind of buying a good train, but okay. it's not as punishing as this one. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. I personally like the punishing nature of this game and I really like timing and the chain reactions. So 1830 is one of my favorites in the system. 
Well, I mean, it seemed there was a couple points there that you were worried that you would might lose. I mean, <laughs> uh, was it just just that amount of money? Like, was it knowing that you were probably going to have to buy that you were going to be the one, the last one to buy the six? Right. So I. Or so no, I, that you, uh, you the did thing buy is, the I six. kept forgetting that I had put exactly four fifty on here. Right. So that was good. However, if all the fives were bought and I had to buy the six. Right. There was a three there, so that would have been devastating for me. Okay. So there's just these small things that could happen that could wildly change the so game. So what is the them. what is the the thematic element of putting the trains here that uh, that would mean that what is that about? You you see what I'm saying where you would have to eventually <laughs> buy the three. Is there a thematic element to that? Is it going into bankruptcy or something or so the so. I, I'm making this up on the spot. But okay. <laughs> I guess I guess the train is still usable, but it's kind of secondhand. Okay. So you know you can buy it. It's gonna go out of style soon. But why would you have to buy it? That's just the way they do it well, in the game. Yeah. Yeah. You always have to buy a train if you don't have one. Right. That's so, right. That's, that's just the rule yeah. of the game. But if you didn't have enough to go to the diesel, then you would mm -hmm. have had to buy it. Is that what the deal was? No. So. The threes don't rust until the six is bought. Right. And at that point, mm -hmm. the threes hadn't rusted, but th you didn't have enough space to hold three trains, right. so you had to get rid of them. Right. One. And so I had no train, so I had to buy a train. Um, and if I didn't have enough to buy the five, I would have had to buy the three, because I, you need to buy a train. Okay. Yeah. And you can't use your own personal money unless the company cannot buy a train. So okay. It could buy a three, so it would have to buy. Right. It. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a. And that would have been the your New York one. Yes, my yeah. NNH. That wouldn't even make sense. Come on, there was like a, <laughs> yeah. it's all the money making route anywhere. They should have been just fine. <laughs> yeah. So I, I believe this is eight, the third edition of eighteen thirty. There was the original one printed by Avalon Hill, and then Mayfair printed one, and then Lookout Games just printed this new one. So it has some new changes from the Mayfair edition. These. Uh, numbers are nicely in the corner so that when you put these here, you can see them. <laughs> because they had them in the middle and you would block them, yeah. no matter, basically no matter where you put the token. There's mm. also a, a other side to this. This will match the artwork here. Mm. Amy and I are used to the old style, so we prefer okay. to play like this, but you can choose. It does seem one like you were showing us earlier, there were some ones that looked confusing when you... No, yeah, that's right. So that. this tr track here is very complicated. So when it's like this, it's kind of hard to see which way yeah. exactly it goes. They should have okay. made the rails themselves just whiter, you know, like yeah. this stuff. You would mm -hmm. see it more clearly. Brighter. Yeah. yeah. Paint them with silver, so it'd be really pretty <laughs> oh with silver. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this game also comes with uh, something I think called 1830 plus, plus. I believe, yeah, on the other oh, side. I've oh, never yeah, played yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Well, we already oh, counted it and everything. <laughs> yeah, I don't exactly know what it changes. Um, but oh, wow. it's, it's available yeah. to play. Nice. It has a... Uh, is it the same? No, it can't be the same map, right? That's got to be one of the uh, main no, it looks, these. It looks very different. Yeah. Which are well, all... Similar. Yeah, this is a new area, right? looks different. Mm. Yeah, this is all different over here. Yeah. It's interesting. Mm, and PR is different. Wait, what? Oh, there's no spot for it. What? <laughs> I don't know how it works. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Yeah, that has a double. Oh wow! Yeah, oh so wow! It's different. Yeah, yeah. I know there's other expansions for this too. I don't know that they implemented any of that stuff into this version of the plus, but maybe they did. But yeah, they. It definitely looks good. They and you said mm -hmm. that they fixed the. Uh, this was the biggest pain with the market was the center, mm -hmm. the stuff being yes. on the center. Yep. And then also the, the trains. The trains were double sided in the original edition, in the Mayfair edition, so you wouldn't have enough trains until the two's rusted, and then you have to flip, flip them, them over. over. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, that would be uh, <laughs> confusing. There were also many misprints in the mm. Mayfair edition, like they oh. didn't have the right prices on the board with costs and stuff like that. Well, you oh mentioned goodness. that the OOs weren't 100% correct. Now, are they yeah. incorrect on both sides of the tile? Uh, no, so oh. on this one, on this artwork, there's the double O, but here, the double O is missing, so oh. that is one of the misprints on, on this particular edition. Oh. Huh. But it's not too big of a deal because no. you, you know this is a double O. Right, yeah. But yeah, it definitely looks nice. So, Nikki Lincoln, would you play this again? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, uh, especially if you guys are around. I mean, I know there's some. Scott has played this game, uh, Aldi, uh, so we could potentially play with him. You know, he was like, telling me, everybody was giving me advice, like, you need to do this, you need to do that. But, and of course, everybody said play with poker chips. Uh, it yeah. makes it a lot faster than counting out the money, but I would love to play it again. Yeah, I'd play it again. For me, this is like a game I consider like a convention game. Yeah, mm -hmm. a little where bit longer. Where it's like you don't mind 
that you're that because you're there to play games. Mm -hmm. So if you're playing a six hour game or whatever, it's totally fine. I, for me, the super long ones when I'm at home, I'm always thinking about like the other things I should be. Oh, that you should be doing. <laughs> that I should yeah. be doing. Right. <laughs> um, but I would, but I'd have to play with nice people uh, <laughs> for the whole, the calcing part, because mm -hmm. that's just like, what? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it is a lot of math, for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for teaching us, Toby. You're welcome. And thank you for watching. And please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications. <laughs> cool.